fucking dog food, you piece of shit. Munched. And that is the last time that homeless man asked me what time it was. <laughs> <laughs> oh, what the fuck is going on, everybody? It's your host with the most. Back from, you know, shit I was doing when I wasn't here on the podcast. I told him what you did. Hey, <laughs> you guys know what I did. I'm a bad boy. Bad. Nah, it's your host with the most, as always, sometimes, Dylan Mac motherfucking Allred. And as always, sometimes, mostly, to the left of me. Got the G-Man Sandy himself called G. What's up? How's it going, buddy? I'm good. Fucking right, fucking right. Been busy. Dude, I want to come in hot on this here cast. Hot. I want to come in hot and I want to talk sports. Okay, I'm out. No, (laughs) you're going to love it. Let's get it. More specifically, I want to talk women in sports. Oh, yeah, there's no such thing. Oh, but there is, my friend. (laughs) It was a female kicker. I, I can't remember the I can't remember the team name or whatever it was. It, she it was a college game, I believe, if not high school, whatever the fuck. She played on a boys team. She was a kicker. She kicked. They let her kick because <clears throat> I think I think all of their kickers were out, <clears throat> and they let her kick. No, this chick had been getting social media hype like a motherfucker. Like this chick, like from the ground, could kick a soccer ball seventy yards. Did she, Carl Baker? Listen to me and choke. Listen to me, dude. <laughs> 70 fucking yards. A soccer ball, 70 yards. That's almost an entire football field. That's yeah. fucking impressive. That's that's pretty fucking ball. It's 10 yards short of a six-man field. Damn right. But that's pretty fucking impressive. Yeah. You know? She gets out there, you know, puts the ball on the tee, puts the football on the tee. Uh, she's got... Block- Breaks a nail. She's got blockers. <laughs> <laughs> she's got blockers for her. She has, well, okay. I'm going to give this chick a lot of credit. There was probably a shit ton of pressure on her, you know, from, like, all the hype on social media, and then, you know... Like, kicking for a college team, whatever the fuck it was, in front of a shit ton of people for the first time ever. She menstruated all over the <laughs> field. I, I've just got to guess. Just snail trailed <laughs> just, it, dude. Yeah. Snail trailed it like a motherfucker. Yeah. Looked like someone's dragging a deer. Yeah, ooh. <laughs> no, but, uh, you know, and she gets out there, she runs, kicks the ball 40 yards. Cunt. 40 yards. Put the other team in fucking incredible field position, by uh-huh. the way. But, I, like... I really feel bad for the girl. Did she cry? I I hope. I hope so. <laughs> like, I feel really bad for her on that because, you know, like I said, she's been getting so much hype and everybody was talking about, like, oh, this chick's a fucking crazy kicker, kick a soccer ball, like, fucking everywhere. Badass, dude. <laughs> she kick it left and right. <laughs> <laughs> but then to just go out there and fucking boot a ball 40 yards. I like to imagine it's like D on Sunny. Yeah. Whenever she punches <laughs> really far and then she goes in front of the thing and she breaks her shin. Yeah. <laughs> That's what I was hoping was going to happen. Uh, no, yeah, dude. Just booted it 40 yards. As she walked off the field, everybody was patting her on the shoulder. My only theory for them patting her on the shoulder is all those dudes want to fuck her. Bitch. So cunt. Like, slut. They were, like, <laughs> they were just like, no, you did great. You're fine. Oh, fuck. And then she was just like, fuck. Oh. We're like, fuck that one, guys. Well, she's <laughs> off the team. <laughs> Just Give me a lap. <laughs> that's, what, that's what the coach just said. Slap, lap, let's go. Yeah, quick. <laughs> uh, Fuck, dude. Well, yeah. could you have you ever tried to kick a football? Yeah, I try. I'm not good Off at it. Off a tee? I'm not good at it. I can't I'm not gonna, even get it 10 yards, I guarantee like, I'm not gonna. I'm not going to say, like, oh, stupid bitch can't kick for shit. She kicked further than I could. Yeah, I couldn't I'm kick. I'm not going to, you know. That's just I mean, maybe a little practice, and I'm a man, so. <laughs> See, no, I, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to give her credit for that, too, because she's a soccer player. They're different shaped balls entirely. Yeah. So I imagine if she she had a little bit of practice, a little more practice with the football, she could fucking boot that thing. Well, that's what happened with the steers. Remember, was Carl Baker? Carl Baker. Remember, he fucked up a field goal, and it was like the state game, dude. I, and they just had to kick. I'm pretty sure it could be getting this wrong. Don't you know? Kill me over it. Yeah. But uh, I'm pretty sure it was a state game, and they just needed that field goal to win, and he missed it. And he was also a soccer kicker. There's like soccer style. I don't know. I guess that side of the foot. Instead of dead on. Yeah, I, don't, I don't know soccer. Eh, semantics. <laughs> yeah. We need Andy to talk about soccer. Yeah. Yeah. I feel like Andy. Andy, you're hearing this. I, I bet. <laughs> Andy, I feel like you know soccer. Yeah. Wherever you are. He probably does. We're talking soccer next time you're on the cast, dude. We're talking. In, this is inside baseball. <laughs> <laughs> uh, one thing that really gets my goat about sports, though, <clears throat> is the transgender community in sports. I don't, I don't personally have a problem with the transgenders. Like, no, oh, I do. <laughs> but like, look, it's like, it, you know, if if you're a dude and you want to be a chick, whatever, live your life, man. Fucking grow you, that dick, baby girl. <laughs> chop, chop that dick if you want to chop that dick. I, yeah. I'm not gonna be mad at you for it. However, if you're a if you've been a man for 24 fucking years of your life and you all of a sudden want to start competing in female sports, go fuck yourself. That is stupid as shit. 
And then they try to argue, they're like, well, I'm a woman, and I've been taking, you know, uh, all these things to block my testosterone. Uh, Bitch, you've had 24 years of testosterone. You are full T. You've had 24 years of testosterone running through your fucking body. Yeah, dude. You've been getting hard boners, fucking chicks. Fucking teed up like Tiger Woods on the PGA Tour, dude. You've been teed up like a motherfucker (laughs) for 24 years. Yeah. And you're going to sit here and be like... I don't think I have a direct advantage. Go fuck yourself. Yeah, you do. You have 24 years of advantage. I'm pretty sure there was that uh, UFC fighter that was once a man that went to the women's division. I think yeah. they stopped that. Yeah. Because oh, yeah. she, he, he was, I'm not he saying was, she. No, I'm not either. He, he was, was fucking, fucking hose up. <laughs> oh, speaking of that, did you see the fight in, I think, I think it was fucking Russia. It had to be Russia. <laughs> it was a 500 pound man versus like a fucking 130 pound chick MMA fight. They beat the fuck out of that chick. I don't know. I didn't watch the whole video, but like I, I think, didn't get that far. I think it, I, I I came before I finished the video. So. <laughs> yeah. Oh damn it! You gotta change. But the, I think I saw him get a hold of her a couple times, and oh, yeah. If you're 130 pounds, if you're 130 pounds, and there's 500 pounds of anything near you, mm-mm. I just want to know if like. I mean, there's probably one out there, but I don't know if, like, any woman can just fight any professional man fighter. I'm pretty sure Joe Rogan said that. I don't think any woman can go against, like, a lightweight. I, I, see, way, I I'm not so going to get into that because I don't yeah. really know. We need John yeah. on the podcast. John's into that shit. John, we need to get John on the cast. Yeah, good luck. It's I, a weekend thing. We'd have to yeah, do a weekend cast. Yeah, well, fuck. But. Old ass, old bastard. Yeah, fucking old bitch. John, I love you. Dumbass beard. John, I'm pointing at the screen right now. <laughs> yeah. I love you. Fucking, I don't know. I, I, I'm just, I'm just not into the whole uh, equal rights thing. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, look, I'm just I believe, kidding. I believe chicks can do whatever they want. You yeah. Know? Like if you, like, you know, things that have been classified as like. But a man can't go into a woman's sport. It's bullshit. That's <laughs> bullshit. Yeah. <laughs> You're telling me that I can't go into fucking women's tennis? I don't fucking know. Dude, I'm just, just imagining a oh, dude. Oh, that does remind me. Uh, there was a. These two female tennis players said that they could beat, like, any, like, they said they could beat uh, any man in a game of tennis or whatever. And Andy Roddick smoked them? Dude, no, not <laughs> yeah. Andy Roddick. This dude I've never heard of who was, like, number fucking 76 in the world. Candy Toddick. <laughs> oh, wait, yeah, I've seen this video. Yeah. He, and he smoked them. He played them both at the same time, and he fucking wrecked them. Yeah. I don't think they scored a point on him. And the, yeah. if you saw a picture of the dude, the man had bifocals that were fucking thick as shit. Might have been trifocals. Dude, this motherfucker's glasses were like a quarter inch thick. Yeah. Dude looked like he smoked three packs a day and he was, looked way out of shape. Looked fucking, looked like a heavy boy. And I was like, I was like, man, that had to hurt to be those chicks. I could probably take one of them Williams sisters. Oh God, no. No, I'm Not one of them. Yeah. They'll, dude, yeah. No, no they'll, just rip, they'll just rip your dick off, dude. Yeah, dude, for sure. seen those things? Yeah, dude, it's like Mr. T in a wig. <laughs> <laughs> like, I pity the fool. Yeah. <laughs> I pity the fool. They think my sister can't beat you in tennis. <laughs> and then the other one steps in. I'm talking to you, my boy. <laughs> <laughs> Are you ready to witness what Hulkamania has to bring? <laughs> that was totally Shrandy Savage. Whatever, dude. dude. Hulkamania, the, brother. That was not the Hulkster at all, dude. Hulkamania, brother. I don't uh, know if I can do the Hulkster's voice. What are you going to do, brother? That's the exact same I voice I did. Yeah, no, him it's and hard Savage. To, I think him and Savage are similar. It's hard to do that voice and not hit Savage. Yeah, the Hulkster, <laughs> yeah. The Hulkster has that aura about him. Yeah, dude, yeah. but I, I go straight Savage. Dude, if I had the handlebar mustache, I could pull off. <laughs> <laughs> if you had any mustache. <laughs> Fuck you. Dude, my mustache is sick, dude. Dude, your mustache... Makes you look like you hang out in a Starbucks waiting for underage girls. Are we talking? All right, all right, all right. Are no. we talking stash? No, <laughs> we're talking. You look like. Hey, hey man. All right, all right, all right. What are you, girl, you girls, uh, sophomores in high school? Can I buy your coffee for you? Maybe uh, help and me. A Leatherman jacket. I'm working on a uh, poem that I'm trying to write. If you maybe would want to help me for some inspiration, that's what you look like. No. <laughs> yes, it is. Bullshit. I'm out, dude. Dude, you've got curly hair slicked back <laughs> with the fucking sides shaved. Yes. And a mustache that screams, "I'm gonna lick your ass while you're asleep." It looks like you got a mullet under the hat. Okay, that's what I do. Like it. No, see, dude, everybody thinks I have a mullet when I have a hat on, yeah. and I'm just like, nope. It's just, just behind the ears. It's just pulled back. <laughs> yeah. It's the way I wear my hair. Okay, back to the dudes in sports. Oh, yeah, we my, got off track. My fucking, I have it a thought. I Go. would love to see a transgendered, I don't know what you say, a man going to be a woman. 
but with a cod playing lingerie football and a dick <laughs> slip, dude. And he just starts slapping thigh <laughs> running down the field. Dude, That's all I can picture when I think of I, men in sports. What I think would be funny would just be see balls pop out. Mm, Not yeah. even hog, dude. Just balls pop out one of the sides. Just... Yeah, dude. Looks like he's smuggling plums, dude. <laughs> <laughs> he fucking hit the ground running. He, just, he, fucking, he fucking gets a hell of a sack. Yes. And, and he then, purple and bruised from by the end of the game. <laughs> what I'm saying, dude, he breaks through the line. He fucking murders the quarterback. And the coach is like, fucking right. The other coach is just like, fucking really? His dick's hard. His dick's hard. He's chubbed up. He's like, I'm in the man. <laughs> that dude is fully torqued. And he just fucking raped my quarterback. Time out. Time out. Full torque. <laughs> yeah. Full torque. Time out. He is hard as a rock. Torque on the field. <laughs> There's a special flag for that. <laughs> yeah, dude. It's oh, yellow. Man. For banana. <clears throat> uh, Cut that joke. <laughs> <laughs> I thought about that as yeah. I was saying, I was like, oh, the flags are already yellow. Son right? of a bitch. <laughs> it's purple for an eggplant. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There yeah. you go. There you That's go. funny. That's funny. They just <laughs> choke a banana at him. <laughs> hey! This no. ain't Mario Kart, motherfucker. Go, go sit on the bench. Yeah. Five minutes on the bench. Yeah, we couldn't do live with this. No. <laughs> We're already hating yeah. on trans. I'm telling you, I told you, it's not a good idea. We'll We're go live in. one of these days. We're going in deep. <laughs> We're going to Facebook jail. <laughs> oh, instantaneously. Yeah, dude. I've been, I've been, a, I got blocked on Facebook once, just sharing stuff. Did you? What'd yeah. you share? Just, I just shared like some of our, like, uh, uh, Confederate song flag, right? No, no. Oh, you did? I just shared something in a, uh, to a Messenger like a bazillion times to a bunch of people, and they were like, you can't just spam people. <laughs> they were like, dude, we don't fucking want that. <laughs> yeah. No, Facebook said no. I didn't get any bad reviews. <laughs> yeah. What do I look like? Who do I look like to you? What do I look like a towerless uh, hack? Yeah. I know I'm done. <laughs> but. Yeah, the whole, like, there's been, a, oh, like, uh, transgender male to female power lifters. Watched a video over that. This one. Another dick slip. This one dude but. chick uh, called CJ. Like, who is this CJ? Cuddle Jones. <laughs> now, <laughs> let me tell you, this fucking big. Big bitch. Big. <laughs> dude, I'm talking probably about 280. Oh. Maybe maybe two sixty. Hmm. Fucking long ass red hair. It's not a chick. Keep in mind it is not a chick. Do not get excited about this. It's a dude going to be a chick or a chick going to be a dude. It's a dude that has a dick that is trying to be a chick with a dick and do powerlifting with women that don't have dicks. A dude. It's a dude, yeah. <laughs> dude, yeah. Well, in the opening video they're like, CJ is a male to female transgender power lifter. And it, the opening video, I shit you not, it's this dude doing a squat like a fucking stupid heavy squat and it just goes get the fuck up motherfucker and the video i watched was this dude talking about it and he dubbed over he said oh yeah listen to that sweet smooth feminine voice anybody else chubbed up right now <laughs> no legit he went get the fuck up motherfucker oh just my like God. that i was like oh that's not a chick at all <laughs> ah, ah, ah. <laughs> get the, ah, ah. throbbing cute <laughs> throbbing cock get the fuck <laughs> yeah. out of here with that that's fucking ridiculous it was, it was terrifying and then uh, there were these chicks, like legit women, that supported this uh, male to female to come into their sport and just fucking wreck shop at all the meets. Get it, sis? Like at a yes, queen. <laughs> <laughs> like at one of the meets, they uh, they told the dude that he couldn't lift, you know, for having twenty plus years of testosterone running through his body and being a direct dis or a direct advantage over the other competitors. It's called a cack. <laughs> dude, some of the. Some of the chicks in that meet didn't lift because they thought that person should be able to lift. I'm like... Uh, so they want to lose? Yeah, yeah. Like, yeah. fucking whooping y'all's ass. Yeah. I'm like, get, get the fuck out of here with he that. He can lift 400 pounds. You can do 250 at best, bitch. Sit down. <laughs> yeah. Like, but like, and this one chick, like, they would legit, like, walk up to the platform and just, like, look at the bar. Because in powerlifting, if I'm not mistaken, you have, like, a timer for how long you it takes you to complete a lift. Yeah. And, like, they would just sit there till the timer ran out. And this one chick was just sitting there looking at the bar. And the dude was in the back like, yes, I love her. I love this girl. The dude chick? Yeah. And yes, like, he's awesome. No, let's go. <laughs> yes, that's great, queen. But I want to see you lift some fucking weight, brother. I'll see you next week. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to keep coming to these tournaments until I can fucking lift with all these chicks and put them in their fucking place. If you think of South Park, dude. Principal yeah. Strong <laughs> will be not coming for you. <laughs> yeah, dude, it's literally that. Oh, my God. Yeah, that's literally what's happening. Yeah, it's terrifying. Yes. Nah. Now, if you put a dude in a wig against a dude not a wig in the uh, ring, though, uh, 
Now we're talking. So we're talking two dicks, one wig. Yes. I like it. Yes. <laughs> I'm listening. But Jerody <laughs> wore my wig the whole podcast the other day. Oh, God. And then we went to Steve-O's uh, podcast studio, and he wore it in. <laughs> he, we didn't run the same car. That's, sh- that's amazing. He showed up where I was like, Hey, dude, I'm gonna need that back. <laughs> he's like, "Oh yeah, here." He was like, just comfortable, and he's. Like, I think he might transition. <laughs> <laughs> he's gonna switch up on us. Yeah, dude. I mean, if if he keeps the beard but turns into a chick, I'll totally let him stay. Muslina. <laughs> Vedroda. Vedroda, dude. <laughs> Vedroda is, is the shit. Is he Mexican or? He's some sort of brown. Is he? <laughs> <laughs> He's, he's one of those other races. Yeah, yeah. He's, those are the people of color, just to make it okay oh, for us to say the stuff that we say. Oh, yeah. They totally... Th- look, if you're a person of color, no disrespect, we have friends of color. They totally are cool with I us. got a black friend. <laughs> <laughs> I knew a black kid in school. Yeah, that, I have five to once. <laughs> I, don't, I don't think he liked me, but... <laughs> yeah, he, we weren't friends. <laughs> uh, I think I was cool with him. I never said anything racist to him. I yeah. love Popeye's chicken. Ugh, no. I'm just kidding. Never, never had, had it. it. Never yeah, had never it. had yeah. it. You said, ugh, gross. <laughs> yes, I know. Now we're going to get on the topic just, of food because I'm in a racist chip. Well, just because it's like Popeye's chicken's been overhyped so much by Yeah, but I've never everything. had it. That's what I'm Kane's saying. Kane's chicken fucking sucks Dude, dick. Okay, listen to me right now. Fuck you, Kane. Listen to me right now. Listen to me right now. Listen. <laughs> if you're a representative, employee, supporter, customer of Kane's chicken... Go fuck yourself. Go see a psychiatrist and figure out what the fuck is wrong in that fucked up little brain of yours, okay? <laughs> Kane's chicken tastes like I wiped my asshole with a greasy spoon, fucking slathered it in some shitty uh, store-bought uh, batter, deep-fried it, served it on a plate next to some cardboard fucking fries and some bullshit wannabe fucking sauce, okay? Your garlic bread? Shitty. How do you fuck up garlic bread, huh? You piece of fucking shit. Style? Weak. You can't game? See- Whack. You can't see me right now. I'm fucking flexing every muscle in my body. <laughs> I'm so fucking mad about Kane's chicken. And one time, the first time. The sauce isn't bad, though. The, uh, I never cared for it's it. It's mediocre best. The first and only time I ever went to Kane's chicken, I walked in, instantly saw my ex-girlfriend with a new boyfriend. Out. <laughs> <laughs> no, I stayed. We <laughs> sat, me and me, It was Bubba with me. I sat in the same booth as him. <laughs> no, Bu- Bubba was with me. I walked in, and I saw her, and I just went, ah, you got to be fucking kidding me. And they both, they both, looked, they both looked at me. I made direct eye contact with the dude. I'm like, I fucking see ya. I hate this. <laughs> and then we go sit down, dude. Like no shit. Like two seats away from him. I, like they keep looking back at me the whole time. I'm looking at him, and I'm like. I'm getting so much butt right now. <laughs> so, dude, I've got like so many bitches on my dick. It's, <laughs> yeah. it's ridiculous. Yeah, it's ridiculous. Dude. I got like too many bitches on my dick. It's oh. sore. What would you say is your favorite fast food restaurant, though? Oh, man. I'm that's easy. A tough, that's a tough one. Nope. Though. Already got on the dome, dude. You're Taco Bell. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I'm Taco Bell 24 7. Talk about, talk about. I know you're top two. I'm pretty sure these are top two. Ready? Taco Bell one for sure. All right. I'm going to go Burger King number two. I love Burger King, but they disappointed me last time with my oh. salad on bread. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm pretty much over that. <laughs> it could have just been a bad location. <laughs> what location was it? The fucking Mineral Wells one, wasn't it? Oh, it was on the way to the beach. Okay, yeah, no, every single location is a bad location. Uh, it could dude. be. Fuck Burger King too. It could be. I've had some good Burger King experiences. Fuck, that was the worst one I haven't had fuck, since. Fuck Burger King, dude. I don't like it. <laughs> I'm over it. But Taco uh, Bell, dude, I can eat anything on the menu yeah. 24-7. I wouldn't say it's my favorite, but I can definitely fuck except those fucking cock sucking assholes took the mexican pizza off of the fucking menu listen here you fucking cock sucking piece of shit that was the best fucking thing you had on that menu and i fucking loved you for it you sons of bitches i fucking loved you for it and you're gonna take that fucking mexican pizza away from me you're gonna give me just a little bit you're just gonna give me a little bit of that mexican pizza you're gonna make me real happy make me feel good you're gonna fucking rip it away from me I know it was a white dude that pulled it off the menu. Oh, I'm sorry for yelling, everybody, but I'm passionate about that Mexican pizza. It was a white pizza. dude. I bet it was. He was like, I do not like the Mexican pizza. This dude fucking sucks, dude. Where's dude, in and out dude, <laughs> seriously, it? why do you call it Mexican pizza? Why do you not call it Hispanic descent pizza? Because that's kind of fucking racist, dude. You're appropriating two people's cultures, the Italians and the fucking Hispanics, dude. Why can't it just be pizza? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah, fuck whoever took it off the menu. <laughs> dude. Like uh, I'm heated right now about this food. Oh, man, yeah, that's ridiculous. I do love In and Out though. I love In and Out. In and Out's fucking delicious. I had it. Uh, I just when got I went told to the other day. 
I just got told the other day what animal style meant, and yeah. I was gonna bring it, but I forgot. <laughs> I know, dude. If you go to a is it mustard and, and mayonnaise? I think I don't even know, dude. I just order burgers. One time, a dude told me he like he used to live in California, and this is before I had In-N-Out. And we were at the gym, me, my buddy, and this dude. We were talking. He's like, "You guys ever had In-N-Out?" I was like, "No, I never had it." And he was like, "You've never had In-N-Out?" I was like, "Sorry, I'm fucking poor and I don't go places, dude." <laughs> yeah. And he kind of laughed. He's like, "Look, dude." Go to in and out Get one of the two <laughs> items on the menu. Yeah. There's legit, I think three. A single or a double or a triple. <laughs> yeah. he, goes, he looks at me and goes, dude, you got to order the double-double animal style with cheese. And I was like, okay. And so the first time I went, I remembered that. And I was like, oh. Walked up to the counter. I was like, hey, can I get a double-double animal style with cheese? And the person like looked at me like I was a fucking retard. And I was like. What did I say, dude? We only sell chicken tenders. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, but if you ever go, because I went the night of the concert, me and Bubba did, get the animal fries. They're animal What's the fries. difference? They just, like, season them up? No, 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 no. It's the regular fries. Covered <laughs> in lettuce. <laughs> <laughs> Close. <laughs> no, it's the regular fries with uh, sautéed onions and, like, the animal sauce on top of it. Mm. Pretty fucking good. Not going to lie. Because, I'm going to be honest, Internet's fries, not that great. Yeah. They're not that great. Yeah, they're not. You zhuzh it up a little bit with that? Zhuzh. <laughs> you zhuzh it up, dude. How do you think you spell zhuzh? Zhuzh? Yeah, how do you think you spell it? Zhuzh. <laughs> C. <Sounded>. Nope. O. <laughs> R. Are you going to the mall later? That's what no, I was asking. No, I am not going to the mall. <laughs> yeah. Please keep spelling. <laughs> no, I don't know. No, zhuzh. Uh, S-H-O-O. Nope. Zh. Nope. <laughs> how? Z H U Z H. I'm out. Zhuzh. Never saying zhuzh again. Zhuzh. I love it, dude. Zhuzh. That doesn't right? even register in my brain. <laughs> he zhuzhed it up. Dude. Yeah. He zhuzhed it. Does it work? Uh, when talk- people fucking talk about food like they've never had, there's only one Herdburger location, yeah. and barely anybody's yeah, ever had I it, know. and it's the best you can get. Hey, seriously, I would. I'd <clears> probably fucking fist fight a baby over some fucking. Uh, herd burger. Dude, I can't believe that they haven't franchised. I mean, I can't. It's kind of sick that they have it, but they should have yeah. more than one location. <laughs> oh, dude, they should have. Uh, like, I would help pay for a new location. Papa told me the other day that the the because they've been in business since like eighteen ten. Yeah. No, I think it's yeah. like I think I literally think it is like nineteen fourteen or something like that. Yeah, it's been a fucking. But crazy uh, it's long the business. same exact grill since day one. Yeah. Well, the, you know, there's one burger restaurant that has a. It, it's been open for like a hundred years. They have not changed the grease that they oh, cook yeah. the burgers in. I think I saw that on like Fieti yeah. or Man vs. Uh, food or something like that. I don't that. know which one it was, but it was on it was on some was, kind of like travel channel, I think. It was dude but I mean like that's dedication to the grease the right fuck there. Yeah. Greasy. Yeah, fucking <laughs> <laughs> greasy. Like it, at at one point you're like, Oh, it's kinda cool. They haven't changed the grease in a hundred years. But then like my brain kicks in where I'm like Oh, they haven't yeah. changed it in a hundred years. I, I huh? guess that's sanitary. How's that? How's I that pass? I guess th- that oil has to get hot as fuck. Or they're something. just liars. <laughs> <laughs> they we just change it every hundred seconds. <laughs> they change it every day, but they're like, no, same, same batch. We just keep the batch and drop a drip <laughs> in the new oil. Drop a drip. It's the same thing. You don't yeah. know. You tell me I'm wrong. Yeah, no, you don't know the difference. <laughs> I'd like to know what that tastes like. It just tastes like everything ever. <laughs> <laughs> everything for the past hundred years. But like, think about a couple bugs have dropped in that. They had to have a rat. Uh, think about a hundred years. Oh, dude, a hundred years. Health there. code has gone up. <laughs> oh yeah, we're we're sanitary people now. Yeah. Man, well, kinda. Does does dude? Hold on, wait. The most unsanitary restaurant I've ever been to. Uh, some of you youngsters. Anything out there, here in Graham? Uh, close. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Some of you youngsters out there. By that I mean anything younger than me, you might not rec- remember this. There was a KFC in Graham, Texas, at one point. I wish we had it. Nope. And guess what? Listen Half Taco Bell. <laughs> <laughs> Listen to me, dude. There was a fucking. We went there when I was a child, and this still sticks out to me. There was a tweaker man that was working behind there. He was stirring up the macaroni and cheese. The motherfucker was dripping sweat into the yeah. macaroni. That's what the flavor dude, was, dude. I'm talking. Look, when I say tweaker dude, I'm not saying like, oh, he was skinny and he looked like he'd been awake for a while. Black teeth. I, what I was assuming is like 37 swastika tattoos <laughs> made to look like SS bolts on his neck. Oh, yeah, dude. <laughs> dude, like this dude could not have weighed more than 120 pounds. Looked like he was 87. Dude couldn't have been 25. Fuck yeah. Just dripping sweat into the macaroni. He was like, stirring it up. Stirring it up. It's where the golden chick is now. And golden chick yeah. blows dick. I hate yeah, golden I, chick. I'm not, I mean, I'll eat it. 
I'm not that crazy about it. My favorite memory from that location, because it was half KFC, half Taco Bell. Was it really? Yeah. Oh, it was. Yeah, it was half Taco Bell. Sick. Sick combo. But uh, I walk in, and I'm with my buddy Tyler Martinez and his brother Justin. Yeah. And we walk up to the counter, and I said, I'd <laughs> no like way. two tacos. And the lady said, hard or crunchy? I said, hmm. <laughs> This Hot new, or crunchy? I said, new, I guess crunchy. Is this a new promotional thing y'all are doing? <laughs> yeah. Are you telling me there is a crunchier taco than crunchy? <laughs> yeah, I feel like hard would be crunchier. <laughs> hard is just a rock <laughs> with meat hard, on it. Hard, you can't even bite yeah. into it. You just pour the meat into your mouth. <laughs> yeah. Granted, a boulder. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, like, what you want, two by four or obsidian? <laughs> yeah, yeah. You like balsa or. <laughs> <laughs> Wood. <laughs> I get oak. Damn it. I couldn't think of another wood. Balsa wood and oak are also... I thought you were going wood to rock. That's what I was doing. I was going wood to wood because it's crunchy to hard, and that's pretty much the same goddamn thing. <laughs> the fuck's going on? That lady said she was African-American. Oh, man. Hard or crunchy? I was like, y'all had a <laughs> tortillas would, back there or what? Honestly, I would hope with that accent that you did she was African-American. Yeah. Because if you say a white lady sounds like that, that's appropriating culture, and I'm not cool with it. Ooh, child. Well, you want some of that hard or cooler? <laughs> oh, baby child, darling. Motherfucker, this ain't no goddamn fucking thing. <laughs> I couldn't think of anything it's, else. It's okay, buddy. It worked. Yes. Oh, man. Uh, oh, what a crush. Yeah, I'd like to think there's a difference. A very <laughs> subtle difference. Yeah, slightly, yeah. The hard was cooked just a little bit, like two minutes longer. And Martinez's little brother looked at me and was just like, I don't, <laughs> yeah. I don't fucking know, dude. I don't fucking know, man. I'm questioning my help. I'm questioning everything I've ever learned. <laughs> Do you think she realized that after she said it and she just stuck with it? She was like, I ain't gonna make myself look a fool. No, she was a miserable bitch. She's like, I ain't no jive turkey. I know what I said. <laughs> I don't know what I said, bitch. Yeah. She gets all gangster on you. I don't know what I said, motherfucker. I know you white bitches don't care if I put seasoning on it. <laughs> <laughs> You want tuna on that? I got it, sister. <laughs> want to put some mayonnaise on that taco? <laughs> you like mayonnaise, dude, white boy? <laughs> I did not know that that was a stereotype for white people. <laughs> I love mayonnaise, dude. Look, uh, yeah, you tell me black people don't like mayonnaise. I don't know. They, they like, like dry sandwiches. Shut the fuck up. Dude. Get out of here. <laughs> no, dude. I'll embrace it. I fucking love mayo, dude. I'll embrace the shit out of that stereotype. <laughs> and I love tuna. So what's happening? Tuna and mayo is one of the greatest combinations <laughs> yeah. to ever come out of this fucking and country. And I've never had a tuna salad. Or a tuna casserole. Yeah, never have. And I heard that on that video the other day. They, they were saying we love tuna casserole. Like, bitch, I didn't know that was a thing. I knew it was a thing. Doesn't sound appealing. What, what is it? I don't fuck a casserole with tuna in it. <laughs> what is it? They bake tuna? <laughs> yeah. I get, maybe. <laughs> they casserole it, dude. I don't even know, they dude. They casserole that shit. Wide right stereotypes, up. though, get me laughing every it's time. It's pretty funny. That whole video was funny. It was, like, because they... they so, if you haven't seen the video... It has been talked about on many podcasts. We are not being original right now. Yeah. But it's just the, like they ask African American people, like, why white people think they're superior or, or what, what are white what people What do they think we're superior at? at? Yeah. Yeah. And they they just start going with like some outlandish shit. And this one lady was like, it's like, uh, white people love casseroles. I'm like, who the fuck doesn't? That's, yeah, a quick, that's a convenient meal right there. You can save those in the freezer. It's for a whole a ass meal, dude. So, yeah. Oh. Sorry for being resourceful. They smell like wet dog. <laughs> oh, dude, they started saying like. And today smell I smell myself after I was sweating and working. I was like, God damn it, they got me. <laughs> <laughs> oh, dude, I I I it up. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I stay stacked. Dude, I rode you up, but I'm inside of a paint suit recycling yeah. sweat. Yeah, that's fair. That's fair. I, get I mean, that. come on. But uh, yeah, they just started like they just started being mean. They weren't even stereotypes. They were just insulting white people. This is what we've done to y'all for decades. <laughs> <laughs> No, I'm not saying white people are innocent in that, but they were just like, white people smell funny. I'm like, okay. They don't like tap water. <laughs> well, yeah, it's been proven to be yeah. pretty bad for yeah. you. <laughs> There's lead in that, dude. Yeah, dude. I love grape soda, first off. <laughs> and chitlins, I. <laughs> uh, but do you know how fucking horrible it would be if someone made a video like, what are white people, or what are black people superior, and they just started going off on the stereotype? It would be real quick. It would be real quick. Nothing. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. <laughs> we had two second video, dude. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I'm just joking. Running, jumping. I, to be fair, dude. Michael Phelps ain't black, so he swims. Swimming. <laughs> Michael Phelps is a swimmer. Yeah. It's a fucking American hero, dude. He won gold. 
I love black people. <laughs> Except for the ones that say I smell like a wet dog. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they just kept going in on us. All those white folk, all those poor white folk, dude. <laughs> yeah, dude sorry I can't afford fucking... Come on, dude, we're all broke. <laughs> we all... None of us have money. Like, no. what are we fucking bitching about? I, I mean, I'm not mad about it by any because, like, for sure... <laughs> it literally just made me sure, laugh. For sure, black people have been treated much worse in this country than white people have. And then they were they started to go... Oh, the, one of my favorites, though, was, uh, what are white people superior at? This one dude goes, not getting pulled over. <laughs> yeah. Dude, I was fucking crying. He that said... Because I was just like, oh, that's fucking awesome, dude. He said this one time, I was with a white guy, and he said pull over on the side of the road so I can pee. He's like, I'm black, so I'm thinking black. <laughs> and I'm thinking, if I, you ain't going to pee right now because if I got out and peed right now, a cop be ready to pull me over. You tell me y'all aren't allowed to pee? <laughs> like, what's going on there, dude? Yeah, like, really, some of them are great. So, I mean, it just had me dying. <laughs> what was that? What was it? This one big old lady who, by the way, I think, like, half the people... In the video, could not classify themselves as black. They were, yeah, there was like 12 white people it's like in there. like fucking Kamala Harris. <laughs> yeah, dude. They had Kamala Harris looking bitches being like, I am African American. I can. You will call and me. And I will. You will call me by my traditional name, Kuta Kinte Bintabar. <laughs> oh. I don't know. I've heard it. <laughs> we're going to edit that out. Touching hot buttons. Hey, uh, <laughs> when, I, when I say that name, just put the beep. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> these words. <laughs> Uh, okay. Well, I mean, yeah, forgive me for that one. That was a pretty low blow of me to do that one. But I couldn't think of like a, a traditional African name because I'm not from Africa. Don't know this shit. I'm just, I heard Kunta Kinte on a movie once. And <laughs> Roots. Then, and then bent a bar. I don't know. I bent a bar once. My name's Toby with an eye. <laughs> a little hard over there. Sometimes the eye. I like to do a little smiley face. A smiley face. Yeah, but... Ah, oh, fuck, what was I getting off on? I don't know. Some Man, really, I was going in on it there. And I lost it. Laughing at white stereotypes. That's yeah, the best. No, white stereotypes It's literally the best they've ever heard in my life. I'm about to start living by that shit. Really, though? <laughs> yeah. one of my f- they fucking... White people love casseroles? That got me real good. You ain't never ate a casserole. You're telling me you've never had a casserole? I'm called bullshit, dude. Yeah, bull fucking shit. <laughs> yeah. Oh, but one really got my goat was that like a pretty much white lady, she said... Uh, white people are superior to having privilege. I'm like, I'm like, okay, let me go. Uh, let me get my white privilege card out. I went to jail That's over grandma good. weed. <laughs> yeah, I went to so- jail over drinking and driving. That's some bullshit, if you ask me. Yeah, yeah. I even pulled out my white card, and I was like, officer, excuse <clears throat> me, privilege. <laughs> Yeah, I pulled out my white nah, privilege man. card, and she was like, nope, you're going to jail because you broke the law. And I'm like, well, fuck me. Son of a bitch. I'm like, do you not see my white privilege card? It's in my hand, madam. <laughs> yeah. She slapped the cuffs on me. She slapped them cuffs right on me. It says, it underneath, underneath organ donor, it says WP. <laughs> yeah. I said, madam, madam, perhaps you didn't hear me. I'm white. <laughs> white. <laughs> and she said, sir, you broke the law. Madam, you're, you're clearly not understanding me. I am Caucasian. <laughs> <laughs> I am of Aryan descent. <laughs> and, then, and then guess what? Guess what happened? In the slammer. She took me to jail. Straight to the paddy wagon, which is funny to call. <laughs> <laughs> it is. Uh, yeah, no, I didn't get any white privilege in jail either. I got denied a phone call <laughs> several times. You know who got the phone call? Hispanic dude. A brown. Yeah. So uh, my white privilege, I'm going to shoot you. I got real white when I was in jail. I walked up to the... They have this little intercom system so you can talk to the people on the outside. <laughs> I've been pent up. <laughs> but So you can talk to the dude behind the desk and I walk up and I push the little button and I go, like, best white person voice. I'm like, <clears throat> excuse me, sir, may I make a phone call, please, so I can at least let my mom know where I'm at. And he goes, "This th- hold on, first off, this fat fuck behind the fucking desk, fucking cocksucker. Your mom's dead! <laughs> fuck him, fuck him. He goes, nah, the judge will be here in a minute. It, it, by the way, it's hours like, late there. It's like 5 a.m. <laughs> yeah. It's 5 a.m. I'm yeah. like, this judge is not going to be here. He doesn't show up for like 7 or 8. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah. And then I'm like, yes, sir, I understand that, but can I please make a phone call to let somebody know where I am? He goes, no, nah, the judge will be here in a little bit. And I'm like, well, fuck me. Okay. And so I'm just standing there, and I shoot you not the dude I was in the cell with. He walks up to the intercom system, hits the button, he goes, hey, bro, I need to make a phone call. And this dude went, excuse me, Mr. <laughs> officer. This, the dude behind the desk went, yeah, no problem. And he looks at me. He goes, "You need to step away from the door. 
I'm like, this motherfucker just bullied you into making a phone call? <laughs> Should have started headbutting the glass. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to fucking kill something. <laughs> yeah. I was like, well, what the fuck? In all fairness, I'm not sure. I don't. I could be wrong on this, but I'm pretty sure Granny Phil heard you on the police scanner. And that's how we knew you were in jail. No, it wasn't Granny Phil. It was, it was somebody. Yeah, uh, it was a fa- it was a family friend. Yeah, somebody's like, yo, son, he go. <laughs> <laughs> now, hold on, you said long hair. You said long hair, white, white as the Dickens, <laughs> white, stale as the Dickens. <laughs> <laughs> You're saying long hair, white, blue truck. Uh oh. Uh oh, Spadudio. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, dude, straight up. Yeah, I didn't live that. I still haven't lived going. I still haven't lived down going to jail. I've been twice and nobody says a thing. <laughs> Mom's pissed. Why? Your dog's here. No, I meant I meant about me going to jail. <laughs> I was gonna say your dog's here. What's she mad about? <laughs> <laughs> nah. Yeah, she was not happy with me. No. You know, it was funny though when we got in her, when we got in the car. I needed to charge my phone, so I plugged it in so like the music played. And I played Reed Southall Animals about him going to jail. She played February twenty eighth. After that. No, dude. Literally like. Have you heard Animals? Yeah. By, by Reed Southall? Yeah. That, whole, that song is like in jail. Yeah. It's funny as fuck. He I recorded played, it in his cell. <laughs> I played that and she didn't She didn't acknowledge it. No. I was sitting there singing. I was like, <laughs> Coke concrete stuck to my face. <laughs> I was like, she hear that? <laughs> yeah. Oh, dude, when they handed me the blanket in jail, they were like, all right, here's a blanket for you to cover up with. And I'm like, <laughs> made of wool? I was like, I'm not using that dirty motherfucker. I walked in that cell for about five minutes. I was like, I'm going to use that blanket. Mm-hmm. <laughs> it's cold. There is not a single hospital in America that is colder than a jail cell in oh, Texas. Oh, God, dude. No, dude. Yeah. Jails. But then again, you go to prison. You go to the big boy house. They give you no AC and yeah. no heater. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's what dude, Doopy yeah. says. Whatever the fuck you got, you got. When Doopy went on vacation. <laughs> it was an extended vacation. She said, son, I was sweating my balls off and I didn't have them. <laughs> yeah. I grew balls just to sweat them off. Yeah. I lost a lot of ball weight that yeah. summer. I got my buddy's uncle, he's in prison I think in Huntsville. Mm. And Huntsville is not a good prison from what I hear. Mm-mm. At all. Mm-mm. And uh, he said, like, during the summertime, dude, it gets like 120 degrees inside that bitch. He said, you're just sweating. No dope. No booze. All sweat. I have heard that is easier to obtain drugs in jail. Really? I don't know if that's a hundred percent truth. See, I feel like I can make a phone call on the outside and get drugs within ten minutes, and I don't have to suck a cock for it. Somebody's got a loose bee hole that's about <laughs> to drop in some dope. Okay. Someone's about to poop a balloon. Yeah, it cannot be hard to get a sheet of acid into jail. You know what I'm you saying? You probably get a sheet of acid for sure. You probably get a whole sheet. Well, actually, not I, a tab, a I sheet. Watch, I was watching <laughs> the uh, the lockup. Yeah. And, like, when family members from the outside send mail inside, they check the mail. Like, they're all. Because, like, <laughs> like, no, like. Ah, that shit. <laughs> <laughs> oh, boss, I gotta go. Yeah. Caught a hot one. Yeah. <laughs> but, uh, like, they'll check the. Because, like, people will soak the letters and shit, like, in drugs. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And Genius. send them in. Oh, and another. On A Thousand Ways to Die. You remember that show? Yeah. It's on Spike. What's well, sick? It was on Spike TV. Sp- what dudes like. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> but, uh,. This one dude was uh, smuggling the acid on an airplane. Mm-hmm. So what he did was, it was liquid acid. He soaked his t-shirt in the acid. Oh, yeah. Wore the t-shirt. Remember. Was real nervous. Started sweating. The acid absorbed into his skin. OD'd on the acid. Well, even if... I don't even think you have to sweat, dude. That's just a dumb move. Because, yeah. like, if you hold a tab of acid in your hand, yeah. you're going to trip. Why if it just sits you, there for a minute. Dude, why didn't you fucking not wear that shirt and put that shirt in your bag? Why didn't he write a letter and put it in his suitcase? <laughs> <laughs> like, this is my lucky letter. Yeah. I am not doing anything like Or little. a picture of a family member or something, you know what I'm saying? And he was a white dude. He could have used his white privilege card. Yeah. Got right through. Yeah. Dude, <laughs> acid is... Never done it. Won't do it. Never have, yeah. I don't know. I've, I, I've decided, though, on my deathbed, the day that I'm dying and I'm not coming back, I'm like, just hit me up with a <laughs> shitload. <laughs> Dude, if it's ever the end of the world, I'm getting as many drugs as possible, <laughs> yeah, and I'm dude. going in, dude. I'm in. Dude, I'm talking, I'm going to, here's my order that I'm going to go in. No, I'm going to uh-huh. start out with a sheet of acid. Uh-huh. Sheet. Mm-hmm. I'm going in big. That's 100 tabs. Yeah, you damn <laughs> yeah, right it is. Yeah. I'm going to take 100 tabs of acid, level myself out a little bit, I'm going to hit a big boy line of coke. Oh, yeah. After that, I'm going to boot up a little bit of that H, a little bit of that sweet H, calm me down Speed a little balling bit. Speedballing and tripping. I'm going to calm myself down a little bit. Right after that, going straight into meth. No. Wake myself back up. Howdy, bitch. Great drug. <laughs> smoke a little bit of weed. Love myself out again. I'm gonna take about two Zanny bars. See what it does. If I don't like it, right back to Coke. Yeah. Then switch into the sweetest drug in the world. Boy pussy. 
We're going to have to edit that out. <laughs> yeah. That's where the beep should go. Yeah, no. That's yeah, where that's going. That's what Shane Gillis calls it yeah. in the Catholic Church. He says, got me some sweet boy puss. Oh, yeah. <laughs> the Catholic Church, dude. Oh, uh, this is one kid that I work with. He's Catholic. I found that out. Cause we you know, talking, this we, No, we were talking yeah. about something. He said something about being Catholic. I was like, oh, you're Catholic? Ooh. He went, he went, <laughs> he went yeah, what, you don't like Catholic? I was like, no, no, that's not it at all. I fucking hate Catholics. <laughs> like, what do you say? He went, what? I was like, I'm fucking with you, dude. I don't care. Who give a fuck, dude? <laughs> I was like, I don't care what you are. I'm Lutheran. Whatever that is. I don't, I don't <laughs> I don't I'm a Christian. I don't know nothing. I'm a boy of the Lord. I am I consider myself some sort of spiritual. I don't know nothing about religion. Yeah, you're one of those high school white girls that believes <laughs> no. the stars talks about you. No, I don't believe shit, in the huh? stars, dude. <laughs> That's called astrologist. <laughs> yeah, I, was, I was making a joke. Yeah. <laughs> Oh man! Was, yeah, I never understood the whole astrology thing. I don't understand how times and moons and phases and stuff can tell you how your life's gonna be. Yeah, it's like, well, full moon means my mom's gonna die today. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> Son of a bitch! <laughs> you lied to me, moon. <laughs> yeah. I had to kill her myself. <laughs> <gasps> it didn't lie. <laughs> <laughs> Damn it! The moon drove me crazy enough to kill my mother. <laughs> it didn't say how she was gonna die. Don't don't. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah, I mean, I'm not hating on you. If that's what you're into, that's what you're into. I just personally don't see it. Like, I don't see how the stars are going to tell me that I'm what I am. As a, I've even watched some of those videos like, oh, if you're a Capricorn, that means you're a very kind and generous person. And are you a Capricorn? You love, yeah. I'm then, a dick. Then they're like, I'm a dick. You, no, then they're like, and you love helping people. And then I'll watch a different video. It's like, if you're a Capricorn, you're a fucking cocksucking piece of shit. <laughs> yeah, You'll dude. kill your mom for a fucking <laughs> slice of pizza. They, and the, I'm like, what? The Gemini sign is, though, the sign of the twins and two personalities. Up and down. And I do have that. <laughs> I can yeah. get up and down real quick. Dude, I will say some of the traits that they were like Capricorns have, I'm like... Okay, but it's yeah, just I like a that. it's just like a baseline that it, you go it off really, of. It's very generalized. Yeah, yeah. it's not it's not like catered which it could be anybody. Yeah, it's like there is some manic depressants. Not every single one of them's a goddamn yeah. Gemini. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. No, I get, uh, me. Get yeah, me. I'm yeah. fucking depressed as we shit. We all suck. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. I, I really hate the people that like really dig into what their astrology sign is. Yeah, they're like no. like you have no like. Hey, what's up? How's your day going? Well, I'm a Capricorn, so you know it's actually kind of been crazy. Mm-hmm. And you're like, okay, Stephanie, sit the fuck down. Orion is in the sixth position, and goddamn it, if fucking Osiris <laughs> isn't just right there beside him, <laughs> <laughs> if that fucking Taurus doesn't move, yeah, yeah. pretty much, dude. Yeah, and then I watch the thing. It's like, it's like what? <laughs> like I saw a post. It's like, what star signs are most compatible? And it was like Capricorn and Gemini. Yeah. Taurus and uh, whatever. The Is that fuck. really a combo? I don't know. <laughs> I was I, say. I'm generalizing here. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> don't get any ideas there, fuck uh, face. Come on, dude. We're brothers. We're Come not on, doing guy. that. Come on, dude. Not those kind of brothers. <laughs> yeah. This ain't Bama. Yeah. But, uh, yeah, it's like saying all that. I'm like, I don't fucking know of any of this. I've never once asked a girl what her birth sign was. Mm, no, no. I asked what her birthday was. I'm like, hey, you legal? <laughs> 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 no? Catch you later. Yeah. Talk to me when the fucking moon is aligned on their 18th birthday. <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> oh, oh, fuck, man. dude. Damn, dude, I gotta piss. Yeah. You wanna take our first break? Yeah, we're gonna take a quick break, real quick, folks. We'll be right back after this. Thank you for joining us thus far. Yeah. Welcome back, everybody. Thanks for hanging in with us through that little bitty break we took there. Uh, we were on some pretty hot topics there earlier. Did a lot. We covered a lot today. Yeah, we have. Transgenders in sports, women in sports, food, black people making fun of white people. It's been awesome. <laughs> yeah. It's, it's been a pretty good one so far. What? Okay, question. This What's is up? a hot topic right now. What's up? Hot topic. Let's go. What the fuck is a monolith? Have you seen the monolith that appeared in the Utah desert? Oh, The yeah. giant metal statue yeah. thing? And then it disappeared and then appeared in Ma- Romania. It, well, a different one in Romania. It yeah, I know. I saw that. It had like symbols and stuff. I don't know. Is see, it aliens? See what I love to think? I, I love to think two things. One, it is definitely aliens. Two, <laughs> yeah. it is people from different parts of the world just fucking with people. I think it's people like the, fuck with the people. The dude in Utah did it and then some dude in Romania was like, oh, that's fucking going to be great. That's going to be fun. <laughs> is that Romanian? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I just <laughs> saying it's a bunch of stuff. Uh, that's going to be Swedish, right? <laughs> Was, yeah, I like, to, I like to do the fucking bicycles. Who's a I think, I think, I think Swedish people bike a lot. I don't know. I don't know. I feel like they don't have cars and stuff. 
Dude, mom was watching a show last night where this grandma started taking care of her grandson and making him a better person and shit. And, like, he, he had some loser-ass friends. And they were at the house, and the grandma walked up and was like, what are your names? And this one kid said his name. She said, that's a Polish name. Huh. And he went, yeah. And she goes, you know what the Poles do with their dead? He was like, what? This kid's, like, fucking 12 at this point. He's like, oh. what? And she goes, they bury them with their asses sticking out of the ground so they have somewhere to park their bikes. And then oh. the grandma just walked the fuck off. I'm My like, drop. <laughs> I was like, what the fuck just happened? Is that a fact? I, I don't think so. Wouldn't that be sick? It would be hilarious. You, just go, <laughs> oh. you go to Poland and you see a bunch of asses sticking out of the ground and the oh. bikes parked in the cracks. Dude, if I fucking die and you don't put get a fucking silicone ass made so I can get <laughs> fucked by the randos. <laughs> You're going to be a homeless dude butt fucking your grave, dude. That's pretty nice. <laughs> hey, man. Here's a good guy. <laughs> hey, all right, guy. Had a lot of character. <laughs> <laughs> Hell of a guy. Hell yeah. Uh, that's funny shit. That'd be, that'd be, you know how bad it'd be to see a homeless dude fucking the ground in a graveyard? <laughs> yes, yeah, sir. Oh my god. He died of a uh, colon cancer. <laughs> just, just guesses. He's just reading, he's reading your headstone. Huh. 95 to. Oh. <laughs> 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 to now. <laughs> it's fresh. <laughs> Ground's still wet. <laughs> <laughs> That'd be awesome. Oh, my God. No, that'd be horrible. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that'd be sick, dude. <laughs> oh, my God. Fucking with me. No, I've decided, dude, my funeral, I just want my funeral to be a fucking party. Yeah. I just want everybody to be drunk as shit <laughs> be like, yeah, I fucking guy. Like that thing where they have your body not in a casket, but like sitting in the corner. Have you seen those? Oh, like a wake? No, 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 that, no, no. Is that not what it is? No cask. Yeah, pretty much, I guess, a wake, but like, uh, like I saw this one, their son died, <laughs> and they just kept his body out of the casket sitting in a chair. And they had him propped up with a blunt in his fingers and, like, a PlayStation controller in his hand. And that was his wake or funeral, maybe. Okay, no, I don't want that. <laughs> That's fucking weird. And everybody's just like, yeah, dude, yeah, yeah, yeah. Dude, you always sucked at fucking FIFA. <laughs> like, it's awful, dude. No, I don't yeah. want my friends to be drunk, talk bad about me. It's gross looking. I want my friends to be drunk, be like, ah, fucking guys. Death is cool, gross. Dude. I'm not sure it's real yet, but. Oh, death is crazy. It's a crazy <laughs> concept. Yeah. Have you ever thought about it? I don't even want to talk about it. <laughs> I'm just going to get all weird. <laughs> yeah. That's just going to be my fucking, that's a hot button. <laughs> yeah. well, you can't touch that one. <laughs> no, please, dear God. <laughs> I think but. living is even weirder, though, dude. We're just people moving through stuff, dude. We're just people doing stuff. <laughs> oh, man. Like Shane Gillis was saying today on the podcast I was listening to, like, uh, like history wasn't that long ago, dude. I mean, I'm pretty much explaining it wrong, but, like, just think of, like, in a yeah. hundred years, the big change of shit that we've fucking done. Yeah. Like, well, fucking slavery was 200 years ago. <laughs> yeah, dude. That's wild. Yeah. We kept other humans as tools 200 yeah. years ago. And now it's the same thing, but we get paid for it. Yeah. So I don't get it. Technically. Meg's in there beating her meat in the kitchen, if you're wondering what that banging sound is. Making chicken fried deer steaks. Just, just say fried steaks. Whatever, dude. They say chicken fried. Not everybody does. It. Well, I'm a chicken fry. I don't fucking do it. That song played today. In my head. No, that song played on the radio today, and it was in my head for like three That'll hours. Work. I was in there, and that chick fry. No, oh, dude, like, every time that song bother. plays, I'm like, I hate it. I and like, then I sing the rest yeah, of the day. Like, yeah. Motherfucker. That and Red Solo Cup. Dude, oh. fuck Red Solo Cup. Yeah, that's the worst song. Fucking hate it. I, that one won't even get stuck in my head. <laughs> it does for me. Let's have a party. Yes, it is. I hate Go that, dude. fuck yourself, whoever sing, Who sings that? Uh, Keith? Toby Keith, dude. Yeah, fuck you, Toby Keith. He has that one good song, dude. How it? do you like me now? I do like that song. Now that I'm a, oh, and I love this bar. Dude, I do like I love I, this bar. I love Hammer on Counter, too. <laughs> 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 That's a good one. <laughs> Hey, we're on the counter with the stakes. Oh, we got it. You guys know that song, Mallet on a Countertop? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but, what was I about to say? Uh, uh, you know that new uh, Post Malone show that came out? Oh, yeah, where he plays beer pong? Celebrity Beer Pong. All right. I could be wrong about the deets here. What's up? John has a friend that's a war guy, and he makes movies and stuff, and he's got a really popping podcast, shitload of viewers and stuff. Uh-huh. But... I could be wrong on the deets here, but uh-huh. I think him or somebody else that John listens to a podcast of had Post Malone over for, he had that same idea to do Beer Pong with Celebrities, and the first guest was Post Malone. They recorded the show, and then Post Malone stole the fucking idea and started doing it. 
Money moves. Which is pretty shitty. Money moves. Money moves these nuts, okay? I like, dude, I like Posty. Money I love moves. Posty, though. Dude, I'm, I'm standing with him. But now the other guy can't do it. That sucks. Uh, he could take it to court and be like, hey, I had this idea first. Yeah, man. I guess, but like, there's a lot of doing. Yeah, I mean, you can do it, though. Yeah. He was in the fucking war, dude. <laughs> yeah. But I don't know if it, if it's the dude John knows or somebody that he listens to the podcast of. Uh, but John has a, a friend that makes like pretty popular movies and like uh, stuff like that. Yeah, a lot it's of noise sick. is going on in this cast right yeah. now. We got it's the back bark- half. We got dogs. <laughs> we got dogs barking, yeah. buttons beeping, Megan's we're, beating, fucking me? mallets. Yeah, dude. We're in the back forty, dude. Wait it doesn't for the, make a shit. Wait for the fucking mariachi band to walk in or something, dude. Do you fucking? So you missed that deer the other day? Why'd you have to bring it up? I'm just bringing it up because Mosley yeah. missed a deer. I'm going to bring that up. Yeah, Mosley missed. Mosley's yeah. not here. I asked him to come to the cast today. He said, do I got to go to work in the morning? I said, I'm gonna, so do we. Yeah. <laughs> I'm going to defend myself, though. I missed a deer from 100 yards. Mosley missed that bitch from 30. Could have been shorter. <laughs> yeah. I'm not an accurate measure of but, distance. But uh, to, uh, to fucking redeem myself, I did blow a fucking bobcat's head off from like 40 yards. Which I'm going to bring up to you. That's not cool, man. <laughs> <laughs> okay? Murdered That's that a beautiful bitch. creature. I would never shoot a bobcat ever. I would a, kill a mountain lion. Because you're a pussy. If I saw a mountain lion, I'd shoot its head off. You can't. It's illegal. They don't have to know about it. They will. How? How will they not? I don't know. I'm going to tell on you if you do it. <laughs> you son of a bitch. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to tattle right on you. Dude, if I saw a mountain lion, I'd be like, well, that's going to be a problem. <laughs> I'd shoot it. No, like, you legit. You I know it is. You can't do it unless you can prove that it was attacking you. <laughs> Just go, like, do this. <laughs> Scratch my arm a little bit. Be like, no, it look. Is. You're gonna have to. You're gonna have to fucking get your knife out. You're gonna gouge, baby boy. Yeah, no. You have I to mean, slice like, that arm you open. can't shoot it unless it's two feet away from you. <laughs> That's, what a shitty rule. I mean, hey, dude, it's. It, I feel like they're terrorizing stuff. It's preservation or whatever, man. Yeah. I don't know. I Mostly don't know called it upsetting the natural order. <laughs> uh, I don't know. Yes. Some bullshit. <laughs> Something. Some white guy thought <laughs> of that. <laughs> dude, you're fucking disturbing the natural order. Dude, you gotta maintain it. <laughs> like on a Family Guy when they're talking. Damn, nature, you scary. Talk about the cheetah. Look at that motherfucker. That thing coming in my house. I kill it. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Damn, nature, you scary. <laughs> yeah. I think it was a Cleveland show. Was it? In my, I was watching. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 I'm gonna watch that tonight to go to sleep. Oh, that man, that, that cheetah grabbed that weird cat looking thing. Oh, damn. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I ripped his head off. Oh. Come to my house, I kill it. <laughs> I love that, dude. <laughs> I need that. Yeah, I need that. That's uh, my ringtone. Oh, dude, another fucking hot topic as of now. Hot butt issue. Is, uh, you know that, you know that Jake Paul dude? He's calling out McGregs. He's calling, that's a bad, for boxing Wait, you MMA, didn't know that? No, for boxing or MMA. Put fisticuffs in general is a bad idea. Well, I mean, see. Didn't he just do boxing? I think it's boxing. McGregor? McGregor, he boxed Mike No, I mean, Mayweather. Paul. Oh, yeah. He, well, that's what I was bringing up. And you he, knocked out one dude, and he thinks he's the sh- He's he, literally calling out McGregor. He knocked out Nate Robinson, and in the funniest way possible. Because, like, Nate Robinson. <laughs> that's sure the new <laughs> thing. It's <is> the <laughs> Nate Robinson <laughs> challenge. <laughs> Nate, I'm pretty sure, if I'm not mistaken, Nate Robinson. It, that's his name, right? Yeah. I didn't know if I was Maybe. It up. But anyway. I, I, I it could think, be Nathan. <laughs> I, I think he was talking some shit, and Jake Paul was too. I'm pretty sure. Jake Paul always talks shit. Yeah, that's the whole part of the I, fight, see, though. I don't really like Jake Paul. I don't I, know. Is I, he the one that got caught with the guns? Or is it Logan Paul? I think it was Jake. I guess they both. Oh, look, was it Logan? They look the exact same. Okay. Yeah. Well, see, Logan, I, I really don't like that guy. I think they're both douchers. He was the dude. Yeah, they're both douchebags for sure. But so am I. They got money, so. Yeah. We're just Logan, poor. Logan, Logan Paul <laughs> was the dude that fucking uh, took the video of the dead guy hanging in the Japanese suicide forest. Like, video didn't put it on I'll YouTube. I'll tell you famous. No, he was famous before that. He's on Vine and I, shit. I think that's how he got popping, though. No, that's how he got, like, hated. He was always oh. popping. Well, he just walked through the suicide forest and found a dead guy? Not to find a dead guy, but... He found one. Through. Yeah, and then he, like... You got to see dead like, body. He was, like, <laughs> videoing it, and then he was, like, making, like... Faces and shit. He's like, like doing faces. I'm a dumbaroo with my wife. <laughs> <laughs> my wife, big bitch. <laughs> She's a every every wife is an asshole. Every day, asshole. <laughs> yeah. Every day, asshole. My wife, an asshole. <laughs> I have yeah. nothing to live for. Life is an asshole. Yeah, but uh, so I, I don't like him because of that for sure. Like I used to watch him on Vine and shit. He did some funny stuff. Dude, if he would have poked him with a stick, that would have been funny. <laughs> <laughs> He's just like, hey, you good? 
He's all Pinata time. I was literally about to say that. If he would have hit him, if he hit him and fortune cookies came out <laughs> with nothing but good fortunes. <laughs> You will not die in Suicide Forest. <laughs> he, he, uh, suicide Note said, Hit to me a wreck of pinata. <laughs> Score. Da, na, 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 na. <laughs> oh my god. That's <laughs> sick. Uh, yeah, but that, that's why I don't like him. Jake Paul. I just, I just don't like him. I don't care for him. I don't, I don't care for him. You yeah. rich bitch. <laughs> yeah. I, did, I saw a video. He was like, I just want to do this fight to prove to everybody that I'm not just some. YouTube celebrity. Not just some white dude. Time out, which he is. And then he's, like, <laughs> yeah. he's like, I want to show everybody I'm a real professional boxer. I'm like, cool. Fucking awesome. I don't just like tuna casserole <laughs> and mayonnaise, okay? I like fighting people. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I can punch. <laughs> which another thing on that video was they said, we are the reason for violence. Come on, dude. <laughs> I think people in general. Yeah, are the people. For violence. There's no person in this world that isn't violent. In some way, shape, or can't form. be pushed to be violent. Oh, dude! Like I'm one minor inconvenience away from physically assaulting somebody. Yeah. Like assault and battery charges, dude. I'm t- you piss me off in traffic, and I see you stop, and I'm behind you. Yeah. I'll pull you out of your fucking car, dude. Yeah. For real. <laughs> if I run you. into the hood and scream the N word, oh, I'm gonna get a bunch of violence. If I run into a, a suburb area and scream Trump sucks. <laughs> Gonna get a bunch of violence. Yeah, yeah. So come on, yeah. Trump sucks. Same as the N word. Said it here. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> I am not gonna support what he just said. That is on him. Same thing. <laughs> nope, not saying it back. <laughs> you can't compare that. That's dude. good. That's a good. One. <laughs> it's funny. You can't compare that. It's bad. This is the all white cast, so this oh, is man. we're canceled today. <laughs> <laughs> not uh, not doing too hot on this <laughs> yeah. one. Uh, I was I was gonna go somewhere with what you were saying, but I can't fucking for the life of me remember what it was. I don't remember. Shit. <laughs> Shit. Where are what are we at a good? I don't know. No, but like I mean, if you think about it, anybody can be pushed to violence at uh, yeah. any point in time. Yeah. Like, seriously, like you know the dude. Ha- have you heard about the dude that fucking made an armored bulldozer? Because, like, the city was uh, the city he lived in was, like, fucking with him or something, like, doing something bad to him. He got tired of it. Fucking armor-plated a bulldozer and, like, started bulldozing half the fucking town. Hell yeah. And then the bulldozer finally got stuck and he killed himself. It's on Netflix. There's a documentary about Good it Good luck, everybody that has. <laughs> <laughs> I'm much now. Yeah. Have you seen a... That's what Tino did. Tino had a, a... That's what he did in the army was the armor-plated bulldozer. Huh. I thought you were saying... I thought you were saying Tino did Tino that. Tino was the guy. Tino, Tino's dead. Yeah, he's, yeah, he go. He's dead. But no, that's what he did. He dug the ditches like he dig like yeah. hella trenches. But the bulldozers they used look like fucking tanks, and it was ridiculous. Armor plated. He could have been a military. It man. was. It was like the cars on Death Race. Yes. No, dead ass. That's what they look like. Dead ass. Yeah, it's fucking sick, dude. It's fucking awesome. The army rules. <laughs> I'm not going. <laughs> the U.S. Army kicks ass. Dude, you probably get me to sign up if that was the video for <laughs> yeah. it. If there's titties and weed, <laughs> and I'm in. <laughs> if there's tits, weed, and money, you fucking got me. <laughs> 50 cents all getting army. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, if 50 cent told me to join the army, I'm probably joining the fucking army. I do. Because I feel like he'd be, like, intimidating about it. Yeah. He wouldn't be like, hey, you should join the army. He's like, join the fucking army. I'm like, okay. Sorry. What are you, hard or crunchy? <laughs> <laughs> like, I'm sorry. I'll sign up. I think this episode's going to be hard or crunchy. <laughs> <laughs> That's going to be the name of the episode. <laughs> hard or crunchy. Yeah. It's got to be all caps. <laughs> <laughs> yes. It's always all caps. Oh. <laughs> Every, I don't know. I'm just into the all caps thing. I don't look it up on. I don't look up our shit on YouTube. Take, I don't, don't want to be that guy. You gotta go at least like it, dude. I like it on both accounts. <laughs> okay. Where do you think our likes are coming from? <laughs> it's like liking your own Instagram picture. Mosley said that I just made 28 accounts oh, and then f- subscribed. I'm like, no, <laughs> I got 28 diehards, dude. <laughs> <laughs> Ride or die. I fucking love you guys. By yeah. The way. Sick. Hey, I need to start. We need to start saying this though. If you're watching the video, please like and subscribe. Yeah, even if you're black. <laughs> I'm just kidding. God, I am not supporting <laughs> anything you say right now. No, dude, for real though. If anybody actually does listen to this full episode or anything yeah. that we do, sick. Yeah, no, for real. Like, thank you guys for fucking supporting. 
Hey, shout out to this kid at the United Grocery Store. I'm, I'm going to feel like a real big dickhead right now because I can't think of your name at the moment. He knows who he is because he talked to me the other day. He uh, he was talking to me in line. He's like, dude, I listen to y'all's podcast and I fucking love it. Oh, shut up. Dude, yeah. He was like, he's like, dude, y'all's podcast is so fucking funny. And I'm That's like, sick. I'm like, you're just trying to fucking make me buy more shit, dude. You're in my car now? <laughs> is he a kid? Yeah, he's uh, I think he's a senior in high school. Oh hell yeah! I think he's a cool kid though. I like I like the shit out of him. Tell him to come on the cast, dude. Yeah, dude, I'll get him on the cast. Sometime. Yeah, we need randos. <laughs> yeah, dude, I'll bring in a rando. We're trying to bring the people of Graham in. <laughs> yeah. I'm running for mayor still. Yeah, you like hammer oh. pounding in the background? Come to the cast. I popped a bag. I've had that problem with some dude. No I popped a bag. <laughs> I was worried for months. <laughs> I'm going on uh, like three months no pussy. Hell yeah, dude. Nope. Not hell yeah, Is man. It, wait a minute. You still got that fake puss though, huh? No, I do not. I told you I don't have that. Oh, I forgot. I yeah, haven't had do. that in a hot minute. Well, you need to get one. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, I'm like, I'm like two days away from sexually assaulting something. <laughs> yeah. Not someone, something. I don't give a fuck what it is, dude. I might fuck your water cooler here. I saw a loaf of bread earlier. Pretty tantalizing. I thought about it. <laughs> yeah. You ever seen a you ever seen a chicken breast slit slit down the middle a little bit? <laughs> yeah, dude. Before oh, it's cooked. <laughs> oh, the thoughts in my head. Oh boy. <laughs> Salmonella don't make a fuck to this guy. <laughs> you know what? I do love casserole. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna fuck that casserole. You ever seen American Pie? <laughs> Welcome to American casserole. <laughs> we call that the old Texas casserole. <laughs> yeah. Fuck yeah, dude. Oh man. You ever just look up the uh, the sex positions on the Urban Dictionary? No. Dude, some of them are fucking hilarious. We might make that a segment. Like, we're going to have to. A segment. Because, dude, some of the fucking, some of the fucking positions, descriptions, and names of them are like, fuck. Dude, you got like the. <laughs> Backward chitlin. <laughs> dude, you got, the, you got the chili dog. Oh, okay. yeah. You got the Mississippi mud <laughs> Wait a minute. Chili dog, hit me. <laughs> I don't remember Oh, you're it. just making them up? No, these are real. <laughs> oh. I don't remember the description. Chili dog sounds nasty. Dude, there was one. Okay, <laughs> yeah. dude, I'm sh- this is the best one. You remember it? Don't one. just say the name. <laughs> the Angry Raccoon. Okay. Wait, okay. Urban Dictionary, was it the Angry Coon? No, it was an Angry no, Raccoon. It's where, uh, oh. say you're the, you're the male party for this scenario. Are you the raccoon? And, no, 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 no. You oh, are not no. the raccoon. Oh, no. <laughs> so, in order to create the Angry Raccoon, you are behind the female whilst in uh, enjoying in the coitus. <laughs> you clean her off in the water before you hit it. Look at me. No, 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 no. Let me finish this one out, dude. You jam your finger in the bee hole whilst you're from behind. All right. And when she turns around in anger, you circle her eyes with her uh, with your poopy finger. <laughs> <laughs> and, then, and then you run out and knock over her trash can on the way out. <laughs> <laughs> and that's the angry record. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that got him good. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, yeah. I'm crying. <laughs> uh, so, uh, uh, and then when they use the use it in a sentence, it's so fuck. It's like, oh. it's like, how are you and Stacy? Oh, I don't know, man. I gave her the angry <laughs> raccoon last week. Knocked over her recycling <laughs> bin, too. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> seriously! <laughs> That's fucking funny. It's so. <laughs> That's the dumbest thing I've ever heard in my life. It gives me so fucking good. Oh, shit. oh, that dude! So many I want to start dude. inventing some now. <laughs> I think there was one. It was. What was it? I uh, the chili dog is. <laughs> I can't remember. What it was. There was one that was like the angry dragon or something. It was like when you're fucking a chick, you just punch her in the nose and her nose starts bleeding. <laughs> That's uh, awesome. You ever heard of a donkey punch? In the back of the head. <laughs> That's where you're fucking her in the back. You pop her in the back of the dome piece. Yeah, dude. I've, I've donkey punched a dude or two. <laughs> I've never been fucking him, but I punched a dude in the back of the head a couple times. Why? I don't know. It's funny. Why the back of the head? You're one, time, one time I was in school. I was probably a junior or senior. Well, I was definitely because Tina was there. But he bit me on the back of the head while I was taking a math test. And I got Tino s- did? Yeah, I was so fucking mad. Have you ever been bit on the top of the no. back of the head? It no. hurts. <laughs> <laughs> it hurts worse than anything. He's chomped into your dumb piece. I was like, God damn it. <laughs> <laughs> In the middle of class. I was like, what are you doing? <laughs> I'm trying to cheat on this test. <laughs> I've had people lick me. 
while I was doing paperwork. <laughs> oh, class that's for funny. Them. Like, that's pretty weak sauce well, no, no, in my book. Is, no, it's disgusting though. <laughs> yeah. Like, did, like the whole thing of it is, is like, <laughs> like apparently if if like someone's not paying attention to you, if you lick their elbow, they don't notice it. Yeah. Hold on. I'm gonna have to take care of that technical difficulty. <laughs> oh. We're gonna have to let my dog in, dude. Oh, that's fine. Megan, you got any more of those chew sticks? Because he is going. We're wild. gonna take a quick break, skis. We're back. We are back. We are back. We had to take a little intermission. There. Oh, he's licking a heater. My dog's in the house now, and he's trying to lick a heater. He's special. I've never seen him so stoked. He is excited to be in here. I don't know what the deal is. I have is. no idea why. Yeah. Meg, I'm totally sorry if he tears anything up. I'll pay for it. This is that couch. These go are my good seat. shoes. <laughs> <laughs> hey, he's, he's just hype as fuck right now, dude. Yeah, he's fucking <laughs> super pumped right now. <laughs> he has not stopped moving this <laughs> no, entire time. No, he hasn't. Time. He can't even <laughs> fucking tolerate <laughs> he it. He can't fathom what's happening. Yeah. Oh, man. Oh, running. Yeah. Running. Oh, fucking shit. Fucking wild animal, dude. Yeah. All right. What's up, dog? Yeah, he wants to be on the cast. What's <clears> up with it? Yeah, that's cool. I got wires <laughs> and stuff dangling. <laughs> yeah, he's, he just wants to be on the cast. Yeah. Thor, what do you think about transgenders, men to women in women's sports? <laughs> yeah, that's what I say. Yep. Right, rate him, Raggy. <laughs> Raggy? <laughs> yeah, yeah. What were we on before we did that? Dude, I don't even know. Um, sex positions. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. <laughs> Urban, diction- Urban yeah. Dictionary sex positions. I can't think of a single other one. Oh, uh, there, there's some good ones. Like, now I'm just trying to create. The Hoboken Fire Escape. <laughs> is that a thing? I don't know. <laughs> oh, what is Hoboken? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I know that's a thing. <laughs> I think it's like a town or some shit. Yeah, it's definitely a Hoboken is a place. <laughs> I don't know where. It's a place. I'm bad at geography it's and a, such. It's a place with stuff. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it definitely does things there. It's got stuff in it there. Yeah. Shit. <laughs> but. <laughs> what is he, is he going to get stuck between y'all's fridge and stove? No, dude. He might die and eat something. <laughs> Uh, this, this makes me feel good. Hey, give him one of those pieces of my beef jerky, and he'll no. hu- shut up for like an hour. No, I guarantee he'll, he'll just be confused die. forever. <laughs> <laughs> he'll die. Will you try a, the tiniest nibble? No, I will not. A little shrivel. Nope. A, a, a pea-sized amount not of the it. jerky. Not doing it. I just want you to taste it. I don't want to. You can't taste it. It's hot. Dude, come on now. All you taste Mostly is hot. Mostly ate like four pieces today. That's him. Not yeah, me, dude. dude. I want you to smell it. Dude, me and spicy food do not get along well. Spicy food's where it's at. No, it's like not all. I gotta be in the mood for it, and when it's spicy, it doesn't need to be melt your fucking dick off spicy. I mean, it's not melt your dick off spicy. You touched it with your hand, and your hand went hey, numb. It's because I soaked it in that sauce. <laughs> <laughs> just, just, come on, dude. Pick you the tiniest little nibbly. Give it a smell first. The sm- it, it doesn't smell that bad. It okay. doesn't taste terrible. All right, I'll give it a whiff. It's not that bad. I'll give it a whiff. Okay, it doesn't smell hot, and I know that's how it gets you. Just take a tiny little pee out of there, dude, and just taste it on your tongue. A full piece, yes, it will destroy you, I'm but a bite to, will not hurt. You. It won't hurt your hands I'm if you touch, to touch it. it. Like I'm scared to touch no. it. No, just take a bite. Do not give it to your dog. <laughs> Do not let your dog near it. Hey, get away, dude. He's already trying to get He's like, hey, what's that? Hey, 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 What hey. do you have there? Is it the little spice in your pocket? Go on, dude. You're trying to assault me, dude. Just take a bite. It's not awful. <sighs> it's mind. just, it's just, it's un- it's unexpected because of the smell. You're like, oh, oh. I need to <laughs> psych myself up for it. Yeah, dude, you need to get pumped up for it. I mean, that's probably, yeah, I mean, that's ridiculous to even just think that that's enough. <laughs> it's tough. <laughs> It's my first batch. <laughs> what do you think about it? Well, about to die. Oh, no! <laughs> <laughs> Put it back in the bag. Oh, my God. Is it too spicy? <laughs> it's ridiculous, isn't it? Oh, my God. I can't fucking swallow it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no! <laughs> I did it too. Is that too much? It hurts. It hurts bad for a while. You're going to go to sleep early, by the way. <laughs> yeah. Well, Dylan, do you don't have any milk? Nope. Yeah. Megan, yeah. please give me some milk. 
Get him some milk. <laughs> That's spicy, huh? I literally just took like a teeny bit amount too. That's hot, huh? It's on the back of my tongue. It's hot. It, your whole tongue's on fire, right? No, it's just like the back. It's like going down my <laughs> neck. I need people to sign a waiver before they eat this shit. I'm used to it by now. I mean, my tongue hurts, but it sucks, huh? It's awful. Mosley's eaten like 12 pieces since I made it. Tony just kept eating it. He's like, that's really good. I was like, Tony, you're trying to be cool right now. Please quit. <laughs> I can't talk. <laughs> it hurts to breathe. I'm telling you. The, the website said it's hotter than pepper spray. The hot sauce that I got. God, is this pepper spray? No, it's fucking Carolina, Carolina Reaper yeah, scorpion pepper. <laughs> wow! <laughs> hey, dude, I, must, I thought that was water at first. I was like, water makes it worse! Ugh. <laughs> It doesn't help. It's helping a little bit. Now, will you eat a whole piece? <laughs> Dude, it's spicy, isn't it? Can I'm you imagine eating what this is all I have left? Can you imagine eating the rest of that at once? I'm swishing milk Ugh. in my mouth. That's my eyes are sweating from that nibble I took. Uh, uh. That is good shit. <laughs> no, it's not. I need to, I need to TM, DM that. <laughs> <laughs> I can't talk either now that I'm thinking about it. Yeah. It's so bad. <laughs> yeah. You think that I'm going to give Dad a piece and tell him to just eat the whole piece. <laughs> <sighs> I'm going to do it tomorrow. <laughs> oh. oh it's still bad. Yeah. Don't rub your eyes with that hand, by the way. <laughs> yeah. You, you don't want to lotion those up before you get anywhere near your eyes. All right. So uh, hit me with that review. Yelp me. <laughs> Negative three stars. Yeah, no. Pretty impressive how spicy it is, though, huh? I think, what the website say? 13 million Scoval? 15. 15 million on the Scoval level. Why? Who <laughs> eats that? I just wanted to make it really bad. <laughs> Took a whole bottle. was $13 for that little batch there. I'm miserable right now. Right here. Here's an actual jerky. This actually might help you. This is just smoky. That has no spice to it, dead ass. I don't know if I trust you. I right swear now. to God, I would not give it to you to do that to you again. I don't know it's if I only trust funny you. once. Swear to God, it is just sweet as. Don't get the piece with the fat on it. They look gross. <sighs> that one's good. Ah. It's also only my first time making jerky. That one's actually pretty good. That my that might even it out there. <laughs> it's pretty. It's not bad. I just use the like the Jack Daniels flavor bags. On fucking not on Satan's dick though. That's how I call it jerky Satan's dick. <sighs> just keep eating that if you have it's to. It's not helping at all. It's not. Uh-uh. <laughs> it's not bad though. Huh? I can't taste anymore. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I guarantee you don't get COVID after eating that fucking hey, dude, shit. Hey, my fucking ear. Like, hey, you know how you feel spicy on your tongue? Yeah, I feel, I feel that in my ear. <laughs> don't tell Dad. <laughs> don't even tell him. <laughs> I don't think I could do. We this need to get Dad on the cast. We should have had Dad today. I think mom said something about him being on the cast today. I think he said no. Oh, really? Fuck that guy, dude. I don't know, though. I could be wrong. Nah, he probably wouldn't do it. It's not bad. So, the spice, I think, is bringing the cast to a natural end, maybe? I'm still <laughs> hot. You want to keep going or just wait? Or just call it a day? You want to suffer this out a little bit more? Is you want to eat another piece? You want a half a piece? No. Come on, dude. No. Half a piece and ride it out. Let's do the cast hot. My lip. <laughs> I'm hot. <laughs> Everybody is talking about it at work right now. I'm run, I'm rolling hotter than a 98 Honda Civic with tinted windows. Kelly said, I had to get a damn strawberry at bef- 20 minutes into eating the sun, bitch. My tongue wouldn't stop burning. <laughs> Do strawberries help? I don't know. Yeah. I don't have them. Damn it. I don't know. Kelly didn't have anything else. It's all he had was a strawberry, I guess. Yes. Mine's you done. Any fruit? For some reason, my tongue is now mint. Oh, I got a puff bar. <laughs> <laughs> my tongue has this grapey, minty flavor to it. Hit an inhaler. Maybe that'll help. It helped me a little bit just I now. Hit an inhaler. I got the asthma. What? He got stuck in the curtain. <laughs> he got stuck, stuck in the curtain. In and he couldn't figure out what a tard. Oh, my eyes are sweating. 
Like, I have sweat under my eyeballs right now. Well, don't touch See, your hands. His, the right hand is the jerky See, head. See, it's not my eyes. Like, I'm not sweating. Eat a whole piece, you'll sweat. No, I'm not sweating, but my fucking mouth and my lips, tongue, throat, and ear, hot. Yeah. Hey, Meg, put this on your It Works channel, dude. This shit right here works. It okay. works. <laughs> yeah. It fucking works. You ever want to kill a dude, give him some of that Will jerky. you touch a piece to your tongue, Megan, and not take a bite of it? Hey, no, I felt it like I... I Damn near instantly. I grabbed it only with my teeth. Mm -hmm. no. Did not touch my lips or tongue yet. Just felt it. <laughs> your teeth were spicy. Your teeth were like... Like, you know you know in the cartoons when they eat hot pepper, it's like... <laughs> <laughs> the smoke comes out of their ears and their mouth breathes fire. It's the worst fucking Dude. shit I've ever... I can't even eat a whole piece. I ate uh, three pieces when I first made it. Yeah, and you live for spicy food. Love it. Yeah, you live for it. I, I hit the eject button on my belly instantly. I fucking shit water in my asshole. Can you... Okay, if you eat a couple pieces of that... I'm yeah. not lying. Your asshole feels like you like bean tipped a fucking chili pepper. I can you just fucking it. you boofed. You keistered it. You, you boofed, boofed it. Yeah. <laughs> feels like you boofed a habanero. If your dog ever pisses you off, dude, touch that to his asshole. Oh my God. <laughs> He's got a lot of a lot of surface area to touch too. He's gonna, dude, my dog's asshole is like. It's exposed. protruding. It is it's exposed. protruding. It's <laughs> 24-7. Yeah, dude. You see that dog? All oh, you see is asshole. You ever seen an Audi belly button? <laughs> Imagine that times 10. <laughs> and it's an asshole. We also need to teach your dad um, to put periods and com commas in his sentence. I don't use those. Uh, no, yeah, I'm, I'm I think I touched this... I think I touched a jerk in my left head. Because <laughs> my eye is burning now. <laughs> it's only under it, though. The other day, I fucking touched my eyes with it, and I literally couldn't open them. <laughs> but that was like two. That was like two days after making the batch, that. yeah. yeah I and that. I washed my hands like a bazillion times between then, and my eyes started itching, so I just rubbed them. And I honestly, I couldn't open my fucking eyes. Dude, uh, one time, I'm I'm like the in my friendship group, I'm like the chef for everybody, and I always cook the bacon wrapped jalapenos. Yeah. One time, I went to United, got some fresh boys, fresh jalapenos. Cut them up, and I started taking the seeds and shit out. And uh, there's nothing over there. What I did was, when I was scraping the seeds out, I guess the peener juices started hitting. Got on your peener. Started hitting. Started hitting me, <laughs> started hit me on the face. Cause I wore gloves. I'm not stupid. I wore gloves when I did the shit. And it, like my face just got hot, dude. Dead ass. I had to like go run into my friend's house, <laughs> grab <laughs> a, grabbed a gallon of milk. I'm just I'm legit pouring milk on my face. It's in my nose now. It's hot in my nose. I'm telling you, your nose is looking no, I chapped. Think I, I think I mm -hmm. scratched my nose with it. Yep. A human touches their face every 20 seconds. That's not true. I haven't touched my. That was the first time I've touched my face in like a minute. My dog. <laughs> yeah, when I was this spicy. <laughs> it's moving up to my Continue eye. Continue your story. And that was the story. Try I had to, to pour milk over oh, my face because okay. the fucking peeners. One time I was at uh, Brandon Justin's whenever they lived over on Calavera Street by the high school. Yeah. And I uh, <clears throat> I ate like a super hot pinier because I was, you know, I'm just like, I like the spicy stuff. And Justin was like, these are too hot. And I was like, come on, bitch. <laughs> and I was probably, or, in, I was in Were you in the military? Yeah, pussy. <laughs> <laughs> and I was in junior high. So I fucking, I ate it. I touched it. And then I went peed later. Oh, My no. dick caught on fire, dude. Yeah, yeah. The shower didn't work. Oh, no. You ever had worse. a burning dick? No. From food? No. <laughs> <laughs> no to both. Yeah, no. No, it was okay. miserable. Yeah, I'm, I'm telling you, my mouth has started to calm down with the heat now. Now it just kind of feels like I ate a jalapeno. Went straight to my belly. <laughs> no, I'm good. I did if, not swallow that piece. I couldn't. If man. you swallow it, you will feel your entire esophagus lining. Yeah, that's why I spit it out. Yeah, yeah. I'm yeah. not doing I that. see it. <laughs> yeah, I, yeah, it's right there on I the I bet table. that piece is still spicy after <laughs> being chewed. Dude, I guarantee <laughs> yeah. it is. I would, I would bet money it is. It's really the hottest thing I've ever eaten in my entire life. Oh man! Half scorpion, half Carolina. Dude, I'll give uh, like I'll give a common folk ten dollars if they eat a whole piece. Mostly ate five pieces I said a today. A common folk. Oh, he's retarded. You're right. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he got that retard strength in his mouth. You got anybody you think that they think that they can eat that dude? I'll put one piece in a baggie and say, "Go give it to him at work tomorrow." Oh, dude. You think Chris would do it? No, Chris wouldn't do it. Fuck no. CeeLo might. I'm going to give you one piece in a baggie to take hey, to work with Bubba. you. That's my, my dog. And see if, and see if you can't get somebody to eat it. And yeah, tell I, me what they I, think. I bet I'd probably get CeeLo to eat it. CeeLo might die, dude. You Bigfoot. You know who Bigfoot is? I don't know. The dude that drives the white truck. 
Man, that fucking narrows he's it huge. Down. He's huge. He's always driving a lot of trucks. He's always smoke. I guess you don't take break and stuff, boys. It's a big man. <laughs> big boy. And I gave Anthony a piece. Anthony Acuna. Yeah. He took about the same bite as you did, and he chewed it and swallowed it. He said, oh, this ain't hot. And he took a bite. He's like, oh, fuck. <laughs> he's like, I'm going to be cussing you later. And I and guess he like, gave the rest of the piece to Bigfoot. And it's Bigfoot like instantaneous, was, the heat. Bigfoot was like, well, how would you do that? <laughs> Everybody that was saying that I made it, they're like, "Why would you make such a thing?" Yeah, no, it's I, fucking funny. I got, I got a dude I work with. He always, he always, he's always eating spicy shit. I'm gonna he give loves, you a piece. He loves spicy food, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna see, I'm gonna see what he's all about, dude. Let me give you a piece. I really, I would love to get Chris to try a piece. Just tell him, hey, try the stuff I made. <laughs> Chris, why is there only one piece in a bag? <laughs> why are there holes burned in the bag? <laughs> That's not important. Don't you worry about that there, pretty boy. That's my, my little secret. <laughs> yeah. Dude, I'm going to tell you, this milk has helped a lot. Has it? Yeah, I need to snort it, though, because it's my nostril. <laughs> dude, my fucking left nostril. Moving white, dude. Fire. <laughs> Railing white. <laughs> I'm thinking, like, for, honestly, genius idea might be already done. What's up? For hot, spicy poops, I'm thinking milk wipies. No, dude. Why is that not a thing? Why would you wipe your ass with milk? You got to keep these wipies in the fridge. (laughs) (laughs) Yeah, because they're going to spoil. spoil. (laughs) Yeah, they're going to spoil. But you can't tell me a spicy bean tube. You ever eaten something so spicy and your butthole burns? Have you? You yeah. never had a spice yeah, poop? No, yeah, I've done that, yeah. Hey, okay, now Several wipe times. it with milk. No. You think it might work? I'm not wiping my ass with milk. Think about your poor little ass. <laughs> okay? I would rather the have... The other day I would have died for a milk wipe. I would... <laughs> <laughs> okay? Dude, I would rather have fire hole than wipe my ass with milk. You should say that until you eat a couple pieces of that jerky. Here's the thing. I will never eat a couple of pieces of that jerky. <laughs> I will never... <laughs> I'll never eat a whole bite of that jerky. He made me cough. As soon oh, as no, you swallow yeah, it. I was coughing, yeah. I, mean, I, I know what the military's like, because you got to get sprayed by that pepper spray stuff. <laughs> I could probably handle it then. I could probably handle tear gas. <laughs> handle mustard gas at this yeah. point. <laughs> Boy, the gas. Yeah, no, that's fucking horrible. Why would you do that? <laughs> I thought it would be funny. I literally just typed in the spiciest hot sauce you can get on the internet, and that's what pops up. I'm, like, scared with my left hand now. Oh, lefty. Don't jerk off with it. Oh, no, I never jerk with lefty. So. I waited. <laughs> I had to wait a couple days after making it to yank. <laughs> I was scared old lefty was contaminated. I didn't even chance it. <laughs> Fuck, your hand turned, dude. <laughs> he's turned. He's turned. Yeah, dead ass. I was Chop over that it. Bitch off, man. That's awful, though. Nah, that's good shit. I dude. think okay, yeah, no, I'm clear of the spice now. My now I get are, you another one. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'll double dip. <laughs> no, no, but zip the bag. See what fucks you up is that <coughs> it smells sweet. Like, oh, it does. It smells really sweet. You take a bite, it's not sweet. Yeah, I kind of want to take another one. <laughs> Why? I don't dude, know. I, I did this. I never. It's like when you do shrooms, you're like, I could probably do another. <laughs> <laughs> I'll probably be okay. <laughs> Just the smell. I don't think it smells sweet. It all smells like death. I smelled sweet. I smells like- uh, Take a big whiff. Deep inhale. Don't touch it the face. Don't, don't <laughs> touch the back of my fucking face, you retard. <laughs> Your face falls off. What the fuck is wrong with you, you fucking asshole? I don't think that'll do it. I don't know. Kind of like dog shit. <laughs> you know what I'm talking about? That's what Megan said whenever it was cooking. Are we smoking dog shit right now, man? It's Labrador, man. It's mostly Maui Wowie. Yeah. Man. Dave's not here, man. Yeah. <laughs> His name's Ralph. <laughs> Ralph. Oh, man. That's. Yeah, no. Don't. That's not made for human consumption. No. That, that's like to kill rats. I'm telling you. Bigfoot said you just wave in your dog nose and kill it. <laughs> <laughs> it's the reverse smelling salt. Yeah, dude. It's the ant- <laughs> <laughs> fucking X's on the eyes, dude. Oh, dude. You ever had the ammonia, the smelling salt? Yes. That stuff opens you up. Found some at TNS. They were probably <laughs> expired. <laughs> and I whiffed them. And I was like, you! <laughs> at that point, they were poison. Yeah, dude. Dude, didn't Jeff almost kill you at TNS? Yeah, with xylene. Yeah, I mean, he told me that story. Yeah, he fucking put a fucking bottle of xylene right beside my water bottle. I was getting on paint, and I was like, I'm pretty thirsty. And I chug water bottles. Yeah, you do. You Every bottle them. I slam. Yeah. Facts. D- it damn near like a nibble of that jerky, dude. 
it instantly turns into gas when it hits your lips. Yeah. And I got a big mouth. I was like, <laughs> <laughs> see, Jeff told me that story. He was like, <sighs> he was like, oh hey, uh, don't don't tell your brother about that I told you that because I don't know if you forgot about it. I don't want to whoop my ass. <laughs> I wouldn't whoop anybody's ass. It was funny. <laughs> I mean, I wasn't happy about it. <laughs> like I was never mad about it. He said you were not happy at the time. I spit it out. My teeth went numb. I was like, that's a pretty good one. It's <laughs> 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 pretty sweet. <laughs> It's a good game. He's gonna be good on a podcast. <laughs> you guys got me on that one. Ever since then, he ain't been right. <laughs> Probably. Uh, yeah, right? That, yeah. that, that would fuck me up for. I wouldn't drink water ever again. No. I'd live off a of soda. I follow a psychedelic uh, page, and uh, people use like xylene to extract stuff out of like like to concentrate shrooms or like to pull DMT out of stuff. They use well because it evaporates. Oh yeah. You evaporate. I guess you might bake it. Maybe. I don't know. I don't know. They, I saw somebody say the other day, this is what xylene pulled out from my DMT. I was like, I would smoke that. <laughs> I mean, I've had it in my mouth. I don't know if it all goes away. I don't know. I don't know if my lungs would appreciate that. Yeah, because people use naphtha. What? They use naphtha to make like a the, the wax spaceship, and dabs. The spaceship and, people? No, naphtha. Like yeah, a, the, like a camping the, fuel. Is that not the rocket man It's people? like kerosene kind of. No. My eyes, my eyes itch, and I'm trying to blink I it out. I can no I'm longer not. think. <laughs> no, Use my. your shirt and rub it. That's what I do. Dude, I, I don't even trust that. <laughs> yeah, no. It hurts really bad. Yeah, I bet. I got a shower tonight, dude. You, if you don't smell it, it's probably not there. If you don't feel it, it's not there. I'm scared to touch it. The other day, I made Melody lick my hand. <laughs> she was not happy. You feel it? Can you feel it, Mr. Krabs? Hold on, I'm not. <laughs> <laughs> you should have. Oh, <laughs> no, I don't. I don't know. Was it my left hand? Nah, no, you're probably good. If was you just left, pinched it, you're was probably. It my left hand I don't remember at this point. Going back in. Going in. Uh, I mean, what it's, the fuck? No, Meg. <laughs> it's water. Wait, flush my poop first. <laughs> <laughs> Meg, please don't let him do that. <laughs> That's a bad habit. <laughs> He tries to at home, and we don't let him. <laughs> don't let him in the bathroom. He's going to be bringing yeah. me toilet paper rolls. Yeah, he will do. He's house. He can drink toilet water. <laughs> no. no, he's not allowed to drink toilet what water. What is with dogs and toilet water? Meg, you are never babysitting my children. <laughs> uh, you're, with, you're with old Auntie Meg. You should go drink out of the toilet. <laughs> he was drinking the water out of the shower. Yeah, okay, he does it out of the shower. Yeah. Yeah, that's fine. Well, this well, the little track. My oh, dogs where do it's that. black? Yeah. Awesome. My dogs literally come in there to do that. I'm like, why? <laughs> yeah, dude. I'm all, I'm all. <laughs> no, that's bad. <laughs> bad. Why do you do that? Yeah. No, I'll try to give him a bath, and he will dead ass try to drink out of the faucet. Water. <laughs> 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 Full-fledged water running out. And he's just sitting there. Oh. What the fuck is wrong with you? There's some cats that will only drink out of the faucet. Have you seen that? I don't want a cat like that. It's too high know. maintenance. I like my cat because she d- only wants to come in at night because it's cold, and then during the day she says, "You better let me out of this fucking cage." <laughs> I will. I put her in Lucy's bed. You. I put her in Lucy's bed at night, and then I let oh, Lucy and Sheree right. share one. <laughs> yeah, dude, cats are fucking weird. No, that cat's not. weird. Dude, cats freak me the fuck out. My cat's a weird dude. Where is your cat? Has he ever seen a cat? He'd probably yeah. kill it. I'm not letting her in. No, he's yeah. seen a cat. Oh, dude, one time... He can't be good. (laughs) No, dude, Thor's a big old pussy. My dog is named Thor, by the way. He's a big old pussy. (laughs) Looks mean, big old puss boy. Well, uh, I was walking him one night. Out of nowhere, fucking a cat fight broke out like 10 feet away from us. I'm talking... No, dude, I'm talking the whole... (laughs) No, but it it just started like... (laughs) Fucking scream... Scared the shit out of me. I shit my pants instantaneously. Oh. You know what my fucking super badass looking dog did? Cowered behind me. Uh. I'm like, oh, thanks. Thank me, daddy. I'm like, thanks, you fucking dick. You good? You're worth a fuck. How's that deer steak? No, I don't trust I don't trust food from it's you anymore. It's not spicy. No, nah, go fuck on. yourself. I don't want it. Whatever, dude. I don't trust food from you anymore. That's the air fryer and grease one. Oh, God. Stop. <laughs> That's pretty good. I'm going to break your fucking knee if you do that again, dude. Not bad. <laughs> I'm gonna break it. That be good. So, I don't know. Is, it, is my dog gonna have cholesterol problems from the fried? Hey, hey, hey from Thornton. The, it was air fried first. Thor- <laughs> that doesn't make it healthy. No! Stop! <laughs> <laughs> you fucking idiot! <laughs> he's a, ooh. Now he's not gonna leave you alone. It's all, mm. You damned yourself, dude. Damn, that is really good. It's drier than the other ones will be. 
It's drier than my fucking mouth after <laughs> eating a pizza that jerky. Dry as the dickens. <laughs> there goes my 12 year chip. <laughs> Stale as the Dickens. <laughs> <laughs> it gets me every time I see that episode, oh, dude. It. I got air fried and deep fried. Air mm. fried and so you made it healthy, then you said fuck it. Well, the air fried ain't your friend. <laughs> What's down here? Yeah, <laughs> he likes to lick hands. He's weird, dude. <laughs> oh. Dude, hands and boots. He'll lick the top of my boots, no shit. And I, it makes me so fucking mad. Cause There's I, like a raw spot on your boots. I'll just be sitting there talking, and then I look down, and he's down there. I'm like, the fuck, dude, quit! That's not cool? Yeah, he's like, that's, he did it. He looks up at me. He's like, oh, is it? No. I'm trying to shine your boots. <laughs> so he's like, no, you know, you know what? He's got the taste <laughs> for blood, dude. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking bloodlust. Yeah. Ugh. Yeah, I'm on a bloodlust kick right now, dude. I murdered a hog, murdered a bobcat. I'm ready to fucking do something else. I've killed two hogs and a <clears throat> huge <dick>. deer. <laughs> <laughs> huge dick. Yeah. A big black cock. <laughs> <laughs> black cock down. When did I say that? Did I say that on the podcast? I think you did. They said black cock down. I said big black cock. Nobody got it. <laughs> I was there. I you were there. Somebody else was here, though. I think it was the first time we had them over. It might have been. Yeah. You know what, Meg? You can leave. <laughs> you know what, Napoleon? <laughs> oh man, we need yeah, to have hey, like a do that. we need to have a movie discussion uh, segment on here too. Mm-hmm. I think that'd be. You guys, let us know when you uh, like, comment, and uh, go ahead and subscribe. Comment though, what segments you'd like to see us do? We should do these in the beginning. Yeah, we'll do it. We'll start doing that. We gotta start saying everything we want people to do in the beginning because I guarantee not every listener listens to an hour thirty in. Hey, which dude. sucks. Hey, if you do though, fucking hats off to you. If you listen to an hour thirty in, comment Schmamoygan and I'll give you a free Colt G T shirt. Schmamoygan. I, I don't think you should be giving out free merch. I'll give one free T shirt to the first person to comment Schmamoygan. However you think that's spelled. Schmamoygan. Surprise me we, on this episode. We deem how it is spelled correctly. So you just <laughs> yeah. fucking take a shot in the dark. I'll give you a free T shirt. I'll eat the cost. If you say Schmamoygan. <laughs> Yo, again, we deem what's right. Don't yeah. try to fucking lowball us. Don't fucking hit me with a. <laughs> <laughs> that's what you said, right? <laughs> yeah, no. That's, that's the same thing. <laughs> no. Uh, but words, words are fun. Words are weird. Words with friends. Nah, I don't have any friends. Never played that game. Never did. Neither did I. Mm. Never saw the point in it. Nope. Mama told me don't talk to strangers, <laughs> so I didn't. There must be something wrong with his medulla on them guy. <laughs> <laughs> no, Curtis Anders. You're wrong. <laughs> <laughs> That's another great fucking movie. Epic flick. Adam Sandler is retarded in 90% of his movies. Mosley said he watched Hubie. Did he? Yeah, what he, he said? said it was hilarious. Yeah, you damn right it was. So he said it's if, fucking stupid. I said, dude, if yeah, Mosley, if Mosley said it was funny, it was fucking funny. Because Mosley hates everything. Everything. Dude. He doesn't like anything ever. No, nothing. You could, you could give him his most favorite thing in the world as a gift, and he'd be like, that's all right, dude. Whatever. I don't really give a shit. Fuck him. Yeah, that's what fuck him. That's what he would do. This fucking dog is turning my chair. I'm in like the fucking Game of Thrones throne right now. <laughs> it's a breastfeeding the chair. Sword chair, whatever the fuck a, that's called. <laughs> the Iron Throne. The Iron Throne, whatever. It is a, it is I'm not a, a faggot. It's a breastfeeding chair that I'm sitting in right now. Not gonna lie. I can see why you would breastfeed in this. You got a nip out. <laughs> it is. I didn't know I was nipping out, dude. I don't know why I said <laughs> I didn't know I was nipping out, dude. Sorry, dude. The other day, dude, when I shit after eating that jerky, dude, my nipples were harder than they've ever been. I don't know if that was a sex thing. I don't know what happened there. <laughs> Did you give yourself a bumpkin? I had the spiciest bean tube and the hardest nipples. <laughs> maybe that's maybe that's your thing. Spicy butthole when you're when you're banging? Hey Meg. <laughs> I got something to try. <laughs> get, get the sauce. Get the sauce. <laughs> yeah. hey, hey. What? No. Oh, it's a dog. Oh. Okay, he's he's in trouble. Oh. He's doing something. He's. Why? Because he just picked up your brother's dirty underwear and held them in his mouth. Oh my god, dude! He's off. These aren't clean. (laughs) 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 Those are my work (laughs) underwear from today. (laughs) Do you not pick up your clothes? Shut the door. I leave them in the bathroom. I do everything mom and dad told me never to do. (laughs) Anything mom and dad told me to do, threw out the window. Nah, it's just a mess today. That's awful, dude. I've gotten comfortable in the studio. Meg, <laughs> please don't, please shut the door. Don't let him do it again. He's like, there's a lot of flavor in here. What was that? 
It's a lot of salt. <laughs> yeah. High salt content. Yeah. Ah, uh, fuck it. Man, hour and a half in, just us two. Yep, not bad. Yeah. Not a bad cast. Megan, I'm not an emotional I want to hear what Meg has to say for an hour and a half. I, <laughs> get on here and talk for an hour and a half, Meg. You know how to smell from Morgan. <laughs> She's I'm just going to be insulting shit. us the whole time. Megan, you I'm are funny not fun. funny. You make maybe two good jokes a month. Yeah. I made a good one the other day. What was it? I don't remember. Exactly. Okay, yeah, it wasn't that Even great you then. you said it was a good one. It might have been. I don't remember it either. Stop now before it gets worse. Like George, you guys going to walk out oh, on Oh, no, wait, yeah, we had this conversation in the car. She did have one good one. <laughs> but again, that was one of your two good ones a month. I'm thinking a year. <laughs> I'm going. I'm going. Fucking bi quarterly. Yeah. <laughs> my brother. Every two months. No, it was you. You have the good one about brother. Oh yeah, I said <laughs> that's weed. <laughs> uh, I don't get the context. Yeah, I'll tell you after this. Yeah, it'll work, man. It's coming, Jenny. As I say, you think you just want to wrap it up? Yeah, fuck them. All right, everybody. Thank you so much for joining us on the Dirty Bastard Podcast. As always, I've been your host with the most, Dylan Mac, motherfucking all red back and again. Hot and heavy. And to the left of me over there, we got the G-Man saying himself, Colt G. The spicy chef. The spicy boy. <laughs> yeah. All right, everybody. Thanks for tuning in. If you've stayed this far, please like, comment, and subscribe. Let us know what you want to see in the channel. Comment order. Shmamoygan, free t-shirt. Shmamoygan, free t-shirt. We deem how it's spelled correctly. We have you. two sizes left, so no hope fatties. You, hope you're one of no them. No fats. <laughs> <laughs> hope you're not tall and not large. <laughs> yeah. So, all right, guys. Well, we appreciate it. Y'all have a great night. Thanks for joining us. Bye. Peace. Peace.